Hello! Oh god, every toggle is on with this fish. Every time- hang on. Hang- oh, mm? Okay. I don't know why every toggle is on whenever I open this damn app. But hi, everybody. Hi! Booba fish. Uh, <laughs> onlyfish.com. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I remember to click the toggles off, sometimes I don't. I wish there was a way to disable them. I always forget. Oh, yeah, there's feet. You want? You guys want to see my feet? I'll show you my feet for free. Hang on. Hang on, since everyone asked so nicely. Free feet. Ta da! Ta da! Do you, do you see them? Do you, do, you, do you see them? Free feet for the masses. You have been blessed by the feet of the fish of wisdom. What does that mean for you and your life going forward? I don't know. Now I'm gonna put myself here. I think we can come out a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Every time I do this, I don't remember how this fish was positioned. Ah, okay. Clearly, that, that should be good enough. But hi, everybody! Hi, 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 hi. Put those grippers away. They're they're gone, they're gone, I promise, they're gone. The pups are out, the pups are out. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. I stopped at the part of the 2.1 story yesterday, uh, because I spent like the first hour and a half talking about story time. Uh, so we didn't really have much time doing the story, but today, today we will get through more of the story. Uh, 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 booba and fish? Yeah, I know, right? What else does Molly have to offer, truly? I, I super have a question for you guys. Um, we're trying to figure out what the best way to upload VODs is. Uh, in the previous, when we were doing the 2.0 story, we had, uh, Enthalpy had edited, 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 I, okay, Enthalpy, edited, edited, Enthalpy, edited it there we go okay so enthalpy did that thing and it got cut down quite a bit from i think a total of eight hours of footage into a a lot smaller digestible chunk but those are a lot of work to edit and everybody else that i know of, like nina and everybody else just kind of uploads it straight so maybe Maybe I will also just start uploading it straight up instead of cutting it. But it's just, it's just so much talking about not stuff. Like the last VOD was an hour and a half of just, just, just talking about cons and the HSR anniversary that I, I don't know. I don't know if we should leave it in there or cut it off because it's so many hours of story to get through too. Mm, okay. That's the best part. Kafka VA? Um, I don't think she plays the game. I've never had any contact with her before, so I'm not sure. Um, I... Uh, wh whether or not a VA wants to participate in the group activities is entirely their their decision. They, they do not need to join just because the fans want them to. They have their own choices and free will and comfort levels everybody has different comfort levels basically so uh i think she definitely like loves the community and wants to interact but uh i think she's also just very busy and also um i don't know not a degenerate gotcha gamer like us yeah yeah what a weird party i have right now adventuring 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 Acheron, Sparkle, Zila. All right, let's see. If I revenge, oh, I can't. I can't even. He's stuck with me. Okay. Um. Um. Let's use. Uh, we can keep. We can keep. Melissa Font. Nope. Never interacted with them before ever. I think we tend to hang out with the ones who do play the game, just because. Um. We, we play the game. <laughs> uh, for lack of better- wait, I'm going the wrong way. For back, uh, for lack of better explanation, uh, it's easier to do these. See, I, I think playing a different game with the cast is totally fine. But if we have this many people who do play the game, it's kind of like, might as well do activities related to the game. I think the March 7th gauntlet was one of the most creative things we've ever done before. 
Um, although, like, you know, the ideas need to be fleshed out, but overall, really, really good. And, uh, yeah. No Bronya on your team? No. I, my team was Mono Quantum, but then Adventurine showed up, so I'm really not sure how to proceed with this. I guess since we're not doing Mono Quantum, we can... We can switch to Branya, actually. Bye, Sparkle. You're showing off, Zila. Listen to my orders. She's telling me I listen to her orders. <laughs> okay, so Adventuring's a shielder. So let's take. Um. Mm, why not? Why not both? Look who's graced us with their presence. Why not both? Is my question. This way. Oh, there he is. All right. All right. Hi, Reeve. Uh. Oh, Caleb, Caleb called me today and was talking about how he was going to try to stream, uh, because, oh god, it's 17 days now. I was just trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but he has, he's 17 days without logging in. Mina is online. Okay. Where's Nick? Hang on. I don't even know if I have Rachel added. Oh no. Uh. I can find it, I promised. Um, oh, there's Reeve. Julia! Hi, Julia! Thank you for the raid! This is Julia Gu, the voice of Kira Ki 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 Lala Kirara in Genshin Impact. I'm sorry, I forgot her name. Oh my god, I don't go to Genshin, I'm sorry! Um, but thank you, Julia. Very fun. Uh, ba 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 Her name is Noise? Oh, hey. Oh, thank you, Main Premium. Anybody from YouTube who crossed over to Twitch, hello, welcome, welcome. I didn't know if there was much carryover. Oh, there's there's Alejandro. Alejandro Saab. Whenever Alejandro slates his auditions, it's like, he's got the Alejandro Saab, and then he's got the Alejandro Saab, and then like the, the one where he rolls his R's and it's super nice sounding. That's my favorite. Um, he's my favorite slate for VR auditions. There's Emily. Where is... Oh, guys, look at Chia. I, I know we did this last stream. 565 achievements. Is this not insane? Crazy. There's Howard. Where's Rachel? Oh, there's Camden. Camden hasn't logged in in a whole day? Huh? No way. That's crazy. Um, Where's Rachel? Oh. Oh, one day ago. She logs in more often than, than Caleb does. She's already beat. There's, there's Allegra. There's Allegra. Uh, let's see how far Allegra is at. Oh. Um... She's getting there. She's getting there. What matters is that she's getting there. Riho, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, yeah, no. Um, I think Allegra is planning to E6 eventually. This this art is really nice, though. Holy crap. She's getting there. She, oh, she's still at S1. Is she planning to S5? I think that... Yeah. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. She's getting there. She's getting there. She's getting there. Give her some time to cook. Her account will be very amazing and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, data bank. What is this? Uh, ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum. Factions. Okay. What about over here? I ain't reading. Nice. We did it. Aeons? Taisy Roth, the propagation. Ooh. -y. I think she is, but she underestimates how much it costs. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I had a feeling that. I think she's starting to understand because we did a group stream for Acheron and she was there and it, 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 it was it was quite a struggle to get to that point. Uh, I know she spent enough to where the bank was like, no, stop spending. We're going to we're going to limit your account. So um, hopefully she's streaming long enough that we can rate her afterwards because I want to watch that, too. But I also need to finish the story because I need to use Twitter. And every time I go on Twitter, I, I feel like I'm going to get spoiled. So I, I, I of my own coil do you understand i'm living in a hell of my own making uh she watched me to lose but lo watching someone else lose their 50 50s you don't know the amount of money you're spending you know what i mean it's not quite correlating quite yet but as me i point at myself do you see me pointing at the fish i point at me and i tell you gamers i got an e6 zilla and an S5 light cone. It was not a one sitting kind of deal. It, it took a couple because gosh damn, it, it, it was it was a lot of money. It was, people look at me, oh, I, 
People at the Honkai Serial Anniversary ask me, how much did you spend on your Zilla? Thinking I just got one copy. Or they'll ask, wait, 83 out of 84? What creature am I missing? I play this game, how dare you tell me I'm missing somebody? What the hell is that? IPC, whatever, IPC, whatever, fuck the IPC, whatever. Anyway, I got distracted, what did I say? YouTubers scare me also. Yeah, I know there's a lot of leaks and stuff. Well, because right now there's a lot of um, posts going about with the Honkai Serial Anniversary Night. The, the 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 all the photos and stuff are going around, and I wanna I wanna like things and retweet, and I just I get so scared that I'm gonna accidentally scroll into a spoiler and stuff. So I I try not to use anything just to be absolutely safe. Jay Quillen, thanks for the resub. Ten mines. That's enough for a baby. Welcome in. Yeah, there are so many sp Have you seen the dude who had a hundred copies of- Why- Why do you need a hundred copies of Acro and Lycone? Why- Why do you need- Why do you need a hundred? What- What- oh, do, There's not even enough Nihility units to use a hundred copies on. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Are you gonna finish the story today? I, I don't know. Let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. Uh, I- I- I don't think it's gonna finish today. Cause I- I don't wanna rush through it, but, uh... No promises. I have a Maxa Zilla, but she's not great yet. I'm still, I'm still trying to. She, I, I'm working on it. I'm. People need to understand. This is how much I farmed for her relic. Okay, and this is after I, I, I've thrown out a lot of things. But I, I find I farm for her quite a bit. Okay, especially the shoes. I try, I try, but she's not, she's not giving me her stats that I need. Took me six hours to finish the story. You get you're, you about 70% there in the story? There's no way I'm 70%. There's no way. I feel like it's just started. Prepare yourself. The story is real good. Okay, okay, okay. Probably need another stream to finish. I'm hoping if we don't finish today, I hope we finish tomorrow. I'm going to stream until I finish it um, in terms of day count. Because I, I need to use Twitter at some point. Um, so once I, I, I get there, it'll be... Uh, 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 I'll have some little bit more freedom, and then I probably will play Minecraft with me in a little bit. Okay, 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 no more! No more chat distractions! We are going to play the story and stuff, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that reminds me! Uh, Kirby, I need to do a stream where we just do achievement hunting, because I really want to, I really want to catch up a little bit. I really want I know, some of the VAs are, sp well, they, they kind of, that's just kind of how they, they do their, wait. Ducky? Was that Sam? I think Sam's name is Ducky. That's not Sam. That's not Sam, is it? That's not Sam. Uh, but some of the VAs are spoiling too because they're they're so excited to talk about the marketing and stuff. So I'm gonna try to um, finish as soon as I can. Uh, if if you recall the last oh we just last we left off, uh, we finished playing Legos with Giant Doctor Ratio, and now we're back to talking to Sunday. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes! I will be at Nishi Fest in Fort Worth on 420! And 421. But also 420! Uh, so if you guys are interested and available, yeah. come meet me at Nishi Fest. I'll be there for two days. And that reminds me I should restock my print stock. Because the content creators at the con, I gave them some prints and I forgot to restock. But I'm sure it's fine. We'll figure it out. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> we gotta um, <clears throat> calm ourselves. Sunday is here to see us. Twirl, twirl hair. <clears throat> what could he possibly have to say? It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. Oh. I appreciate your words. <laughs> and I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Oh, we are un uh, we are oh, unsatisfied with your service. But a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. He's got earrings on his wings. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend what of yours. What a pretty chicken wing help. boy. Yes. Friend? Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He's oh. already faithfully fulfilled his duties. Hasn't he? Oh, was he bringing yes. us here? The doctor has assured me of your noble. Oh, character. that's so romantic! He Thank you, Doctor Ratio. Like a virtuous person. Oh. Be trusted by the family. Okay. I have come to know you very well as okay. a person, Mister Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. 
Okay. The fact that he succeeded in overcoming Ratio at his most romantic is when he says nothing and somebody else explains his intentions. As soon as he speaks, it's like, but you're dumb. There's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong Look person. Look at his earrings. And put yourself He's in so pretty. Be. I want but him. When is he going to be playable? Found. I want this guy. Oh, you don't look too well. Am I like, he's cute, conscious? but he's, like, if not, biblically accurate angel cute. <laughs> Love it when my yeah, angels are biblically taken. accurate. Why is that you so hard to say? Biblically accurate angel. There we go. Against the family. No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. Around you. There's no need for us to be evasive. <laughs> Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune. Out of tune. Out of Panic tune. She's also, you know, dead. What's more disheartening. But, mm. Oh, I love how they have to explain more. this. Hey, by the way, she can't sing anymore because she's dead. In case you can't, in case you forgot why she can't sing, death right here. In case you forgot, everybody. In case, in case that ending of 2.0 wasn't so shocking enough, death. Reminder, hee hee, tee hee, Hoyo said, uplof, uh, up, uplofting, uplifting and heartwarming death, ha ha ha. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders. Who is the murder? Don't tell me, don't tell me. Chad, don't tell me. Who is the murder? I'm gonna guess. A different opinion. Who, who could it be? Who could it be? I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no idea where this story is going. That makes it even scarier. It's gonna be like some weird weird answer like oh march is the murderer because she has no ties whatsoever and stuff like that now your noble status has become a shackle preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging <laughs> casual reminder of death <laughs> you're feeling anxious so quirky but don't worry i'm on your side mm. I, I I trust you because I hear Camden's voice coming out of you. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Are you? Since you're so are, are you? selfless and generous, <laughs> I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return. What is this? Would you? Someone says the murderer is down him from the train. Yeah, he exits the train, goes to the to, to Panacone, murders this random woman she's he's never met before. Inserts himself into the story. Yeah, you know what? Zila is the murderer. You knew it all along. Zila left the mines. She came from the underworld. She decided to go to the overworld across a two planets, two and a half planets. Make her way to Pentacone. She saw Robin and she's like, yeah, you you kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Therefore, murder. No, I don't. I don't. I have no idea where the story is going. Molly IRL is the killer. Yeah, you know. Look at me. I'm a fish. What do you want me to do? What What can I do? Who, how am I going to kill? With my fins? With my flaps? You know, you, do you remember that um, Magikarp in Pokemon when he uses Splash? That's me. Ready? Ready? Ha! All right. How much damage did that do? How much damage was that? Huh? Tell me. How much damage do you think I could possibly do as a floppy flippy fish? Nothing. I'm just here to... Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from Blub. this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody. The capital of family. The bag of gift money and... The box in which the cornerstone, cornerstone. is stored. Uh... That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. His enunciation is so clear. I like his voice a lot. Emanator, granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds Oh. Okay, so the ten stone hearts are also known as liquidation specialists. Do fish drink water? Or they drink water because they live in water, right? So is it still drinking water if they're underwater? What is the what is the explanation for fish biology? Gills gills do I don't know. Never mind. Don't it, it's it's fine. Do fish get thirsty? Yes. Do we drink air? <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah. I mean, breathing and drinking are similar 
bodily functions. Therefore, therefore, it it it, 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 it could be that humans drink air. You, you 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 know what I mean? We drink air. Yeah, fish breathe water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fish drink water, breathe in air, and piss in the same water. Oh, oh, um, beautiful. I love that for them. For an object so precious, what happens when fish cry it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense well i'm sure you're aware of the high do fish risk love do fish have feelings bring the truth to light mr aventurine when you're out and about do you always make adjustments to your appearance your tie should be on the center line well, what? Your shirt must Whoa. not protrude from your vest. Oh, Jesus. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, 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 I look at Sunday now after going through his Lego box and seeing the way his mind operates. And, and, and now when he says this, it's making me very, very worried about you, sweetie. Of course. But I don't. Because it's not appropriate to do so in public. <laughs> you should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. <laughs> He's like, how dare you show your shins in public? Don't you know you're supposed to pull your pants down before you leave the house? I'm not the kind that takes risks. I can't fix them. The no, no. Must be in the custody no. of the family. I firmly don't. I, I firmly think. Okay, I'm not talking about real people. But in terms of end game people, we have a, w one day I'll make a tier list of characters I think I can fix and characters that are unfixable. He would be unfixable. I don't think he's I that is broken beyond repair. This is something that Apple repair can't fix for you. It's gone. No room for negotiation. I want to make him worse. Okay. I I don't I don't even know he probably could be worse, but as it is, there's a lot going on underneath that I don't know about, and I'm a little bit worried about him. He's very cute, but... Mm -hmm. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. <laughs> What's that threat? I don't, I don't know. Sure. The gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. I don't want him to Unfortunately, be fixed. Chicken it's wing a gambler boy that is fine as he is. Chip, MS not Valve a merchant. Comfy. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. How is everyone doing? Tell me. Hey, Will Strive, thanks for the sub. I don't want to be fixed. Chicken wing boy is fine as he is. Listen. A piece of toast. Thank you for the sub. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for? What exactly is stored in it? Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be... Oh, triple-faced Oh, soul. oh my god, oh, okay. Uh, sear his tongue and palm whoa! with the hot iron. Whoa! So that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make... He is a biblically lies. accurate angel! I told you! I told you he was a biblically accurate angel! Biblically accurate angel, I told you! told you what have you done bruh under the light of the harmony bruh. all wickedness bruh. i can't fix him i can't fix him no 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 and i'll ask you questions on their behalf next you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust uh, can we can we delete that? Unless Hoyoverse announces it officially on their end, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about who the VA is. Um, just play it safe because I don't think we've seen an official announcement by Hoyoverse for Sunday yet. So just to j we're we're gonna play it safe. <laughs> and if I refuse to answer, you can try, and we'll see if the Harmony rejects you. Girl, you already rejected me. <laughs> Where is this turning? I'm scared. Question. Oh. Do you own a cornerstone? What's he doing to me? What is this? What is he doing? Risho, help! You're just standing there watching. Yes. Whoa. What a simple answer. You too 
Understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Mm, I'm gonna assume that we did. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yes. Oh. Okay. Girl, adventuring, what are we cooking with? What do we have? Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Yes. Oh god, we have nothing. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? What is he doing to me? Man, what is this, what, what is this weird brainwave shit? Why are the rainbows are making us tell the truth? Oh god. Yes. Yes! Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing, but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Oh. Uh. Wait, wait, why, why, why? <laughs> the holy gaslighting powers. <laughs> Are you an Avgen from Sigona? Oh. Yes. Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? Um... No. Does it matter? I mean, that- that does- that- 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 that, that do kind of matter. Do you love your family more than yourself? Where did that come from?! Where did that come from?! Is he about to be like, do you love your family more than you love yourself? Want to join my capital F family? You, you, you want to join my family? Is that what he's about to ask? Yes. Wow! Oh. That's actually like... That's actually really cool of him. All the Avgens were killed in a massacre. Oh. Um, right? So his family is dead? Um... No. Oh, okay, okay, we're good. Are you your clan's oh. sole survivor? Um, maybe we're not good? Say no! Say it ain't so! Say that there's more of you! <sighs> no! Perhaps. How did this game become genocide? Do you hate and oh, wish to destroy oh my. Where, is going? where is this going? Where is this going? If he says yes, if he says yes right now, if he says yes right now, oh my god. Camden, I will burn this world down for you! I don't know. Okay, okay. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Interesting. Now, the final question. I love that we came to play in his Lego set and now we're having our midlife crisis because he's forcing us to have one. Can you swear that at this very moment... The Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box. Aventurine box? E e e no. hmm. oh, oh! <laughs> is Sonny's about to kill us? Truly, we destroyed his Lego set, he destroys our life. Um... <laughs> 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 Looks like we can get an answer. I am suddenly a, a lot scared of- a lot more scared of this man than I was when Sparkle called him Chicken Wing Boy. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Why did he say that so softly? Oh, I got see. Oh my god, he's really hot though. Shit! What? Please. Ratio, you are so unhelpful today! Oh, okay. <laughs> what? What is it? Oh, it's empty. Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> uh. Eggs? It's the Neopet eggs. No, no, 
attraction's not gone. He's still hot. Since you it's came just as um promised, learned doctor. Does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? In this farce. What makes you think you can convince me? <sighs> Everybody's voice is so nice. I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital uh... matters for the sake of... Petty pride. Petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, the capital of I'll England. share our research findings on the Stellaron. Oh wow, he's so easy to bribe. Hey, you want knowledge family. about our rock? No sure, let me just just join our family. Okay, to be honest, it's a really cool rock, so I get it. But oh, look, <laughs> his eyes are—he's interested. He's thinking about it. Cut to the chase. Oh, he's in, he's in, bro, he's in. He's like, Sunday's like, do you want a million dollars or do you want, like, the, 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 the uh, one fun, silly little trivia fact about the Celeron? Uh, uh, Ratio immediately points at the rock. Yes, I will have that one. Fuck a million dollars. I don't need to pay rent. Rent pays me. I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive uh... plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department have united. Oh. Progressing together in the interests of the IPC. Okay, I'm, uh, at least... You have least... to speak more clearly than that. <laughs> more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? Is he still not... He's not sure if we're lying or not? Because he did his rainbow brainwashy thingy, his rainbow gaslighting waves, and it worked on us, right? <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The ten stone hearts aren't as united as you oh. think. Cornerstones are significant. Oh, this was before. Oh, 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 oh. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. Oh, this makes a lot more sense. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. I read that as twink. You should see a shrink. Okay. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be. But I happen to be. Uh, hee hee hee. Huh. 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 <laughs> I appreciate it. I, I don't I don't know about that one. Why anytime he says anything positive, do you do you feel the fear of God strike through your body? The biblically accurate angel is the scariest character they've written in this game. He's about to throw his Legos at me. He's about to throw his Legos on the floor and then we're gonna step on it and we're gonna die. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh the golden stone its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body uh this is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you why is ratio telling us you that... that the ten stone hearts chisel hey! will into the corner hey Grant ratio what are you doing ratio i like you what are you doing why are you ratting Camden out like this? Rat! Dr. Ratchio! And this golden statue is also... Topaz! Not <gasps> Topaz! Topaz! Not Adventurine. Oh. And it belongs to Topaz. Oh. So, do you wish to confront him? Oh, man. <sighs> Not at the moment. 
I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. Ratio, come on! We went the we went on a Lego date together. Come the on! Safest place somewhere you'd never think of, because he never intended to hide it. Oh! In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. Oh! Oh! Oi. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. Very More fashionable bag, though. Itself. Good for you, With Adventuring. A bunch of worthless jewels. Disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Is indeed in line with Mr. Yeah, he's been very style. all or nothing so far, so that doesn't surprise me too much. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Uh. Learn it, Doctor. I am grateful for your help. Uh, I don't ship this one! Right I'm scared of this you. one! Uh. As for the villain, <laughs> uh, I hope he retreats in humiliation. You're you're so hot, but in like a religious way. I I, I don't I don't. Oh shoot, my my Siri just activated on my phone when I did that. Hang on, um, my my VTuber model's gonna pause for a second. I got scared. I I I got real scared for a second. My phone realized how scared I was. Hang on, let me move this back. Okay, Whew. Siri heard me talk shit about God, and she stepped in. It was all thanks to your friend. With That's why his name is Sunday. You go to church on that day to respect to the biblically belief. accurate angel. Ratio, <sighs> you wretch! <gasps> no! Right, you're in. Right, you're in. It's over before it started. No! No, 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 no. Ray, 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 show baby. I, I believe in you. There is a chance you can redeem yourself. Right, you're in. Right, you're in. Yeah, right, right. That, that, this is a ship that will sell the seven seas for the rest of time. It's fine. It's fine. They're just going through. Oh, he looked away. <laughs> Finally shown your oh, true colors. Oh, no. Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time. What? 17 hours left to live? Aftertaste of defeat. Oh, oh. It, 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 <sighs> oh, God. What is happening? <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was. Oh, the I knew the rainbow brainwaves were out to get me! Beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully. Uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration. Oh, great! Into a trial. I genuinely see no. Oh, great! Don't you love it when you get invited over for a Lego date and the biblically accurate angel decides to curse you to your death? I hate, I hate you. Why'd you do this to me? You're so hot. Oh God! <laughs> Is this what the harmony represents? <laughs> harmony, more like coercion. death. <laughs> I love being murdered. Yay! <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer Wha you the possibility mm. of a new beginning. Okay, hear me out. We have to agree to this. Not because he's hot, but because we have no other choice. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete No, no more tests. I don't want to go back to your Lego set. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. With your own? If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. Oh, not this shit again! His rainbow gaslight waves are back. <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. Oh no. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil uh... hidden in the family from an external perspective. 
I will uh. purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system uh, hours. 17 system hours? When the time comes, compare Hydrate. your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy. When he mercy. smiles, oh, I don't know about that one. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Ooh. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. Ooh. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. He has a Your mullet. Bag is over there. It's a mullet. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. Uh, you are free. Uh, I will wait uh, here for your good news. Oh no. Ratio, why? Look at me! Oh wait, who is that? Hello, this birdie. meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's a death sentence. It's an outright execution. Oh, he said that's so sexy. It's an outright execution. <laughs> wee -wee. <laughs> why would I do that, Mr. Aventure? Uh, truly, why did you I'm do that, though? I'm wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. I knew when he did that scene with his sister, I knew there was something going on with him. Hmm. Stairs. By the way, before oh, you no. go. No more questions! No more plan. questions! No more questions! You have done enough of your rainbow gaslight waves for for for, for today. I, I I just get me out of here. What is it now? No, truly, what is it now? What you, do you want from Oh, you want me? You? Do oh. you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Uh Oh. Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? Kakabasha. I got it back, sister. Oh. They look like they're going through it. This that whenever there's tents in the desert Lee area, I always feel bad cuz that means it's going to be a sad moment. You went to look for <clears throat> That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. Oh, But I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again. Catechins okay? are shell slashers. Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I play oh. a game with them. And I won. I'm gonna guess this is Aventurine, right? So Aventurine's been a gambler since age five. He's been playing in the gotcha, gotcha sphere since he was a small wee child. One? What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. Mm -hmm. What? I had water in my mouth. What? I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. Has he just been playing his own death since he was a child? Jesus Christ. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. Uh, sorry. I choked on water earlier. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be oh watching over you. Oh my gosh. This kid a little, um, that's no cray. reason to push your luck by going up against those, those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how <laughs> mom and dad... Oh. So his luck is really good. He said, fuck it, we ball. <laughs> Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. <sighs> I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Aww. Because mom left you this necklace. Aww. There'll be no next time. Oh. 
It is important, but not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what Mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gayathra Triclops. Uh, yeah. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Akavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all oh. Avgen have. I, so I guess at this point, we don't know how many Avgen are left, but he is the prized possession because of his luck. You're a child blessed by Gayathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So mm. always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Damn. Huh. Listen to me and swear to Gayathra Triclops. <sighs> okay. I will swear to Gayathra Triclops to protect this wealth. Damn. But sister, if Gaiathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why did she not protect Dad when oh, he was Oh, no! Like After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gaiathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gaiathra Triclops when Mom was oh, shivering in her arms? Oh, shit! still pleading for Gaiathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath until the moment she closed her eyes. Sister... Everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rainpour was Gaiathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Oh. Um. Okay. Okay. The Abjans are going through it. What? That no, uh, okay, we're okay, we're, we're 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 okay, we're switching. Okay. I was really invested in that um, moment. I was having some goosebumps me. rise and now we're back to the to the trailblazer. Okay, okay. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also Oh, they're talking about Robin? Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do <laughs> Meanwhile at the TSA enter a dream? For real, for real. Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators. Oh, Firefly, rate, Firefly, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Levels and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Um, feels like our every move is being watched. Please, rest assured, your vitals are monitored in case of emergencies, allowing us to wake you if necessary. This is all for the safety of our guests. Can I trouble you to access the records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. The Bloodhound we family. Can only That's Gallagher! There's a problem. I made a tweet about Gallagher when he when his art was announced or whatever it was, and I was like, he's middle aged, but I want him. And that tweet randomly blew up. I was at a con at the time, and I looked at the tweets later, and I was like, what is going on? Because I've used that exact same reaction image for Welt when the game first started. It did not gain that much traction. But now, if I use it for Gallagher, uh, and I post, he's middle aged, but I want him. Everybody floods in. Looks like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allen. You make her sounds deeper this By patch. Way, is I still love it. Doing fine? It sounds we slightly deeper. Her performance. Smooth and velvety. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? Oh. The preparations for the Charmony Festival uh... have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Aww. Hmm. I'm sure. Hmm. I'm sure. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, 
She should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. What is it? She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Uh, is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Uh, oh, the Stellaron, the garden. Can you even turn through the... I don't know. Memo keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by her... It is likely mm. that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. Okay, so it is Stellaron the Hunters. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible. There's so many factions! What about the IP? What about the Superman Guards? Let's go back to Bellabog! <laughs> <laughs> huh. Who are you guys? Uh oh. Huh? Oh. Bravo team has arrived at their designated position. Uh oh. Ready to execute armed evacuation is this, operation. This is the Get moving. IPC. Uh, uh, armed evacuation? Boss, aren't you drunk? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first. Are they acting later. outside of permission Stop. again? Help! Help me! I spent all my year end bonus on the snowball! <sighs> I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary. The notice. IPC is a mess. Hey, check it out. That place. Could it be the IPC oh workers my from God. How is the IPC functioning with this kind of staff? The IPC will be conducting special operations within the Topaz, hotel. come get your man. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones or compulsory measures will be enforced. Oh! I'll request a beating for you lot! You've been told not to drink during work hours. Oh, she's so mad. Take him back to the hotel room. Ooh. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Oh. Interesting. Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on- Are Tuesday. you that surprised? Wasn't this an occupied IPC prison? Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Aventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. Huh? Oh, phone call? It's fine. Do as they ask, and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. <laughs> She's like, I can't take you anywhere! As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the uh, IPC stuff now. Okay, that makes sense though. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage Venturine's like not like other girls. We can only sit around in the reality hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder Avengerine scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC uh, came back him up in the and Ratio state. betrayed him. Hmm. His situation I have faith. I have faith. Ratio, I surely, I surely he'll 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 come around. Dirt on and the last hour, and the most what needy hour. I believe in Veritas Ratio to save the day. Illusional, well. or, or maybe, or maybe. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? I okay. believe in Shirley! She is with us in the chat tonight! Really uncomfortable. Oh. Why am I Lotra? What happened to- what is this team? Okay, I guess we're back to Mono Quantum because Adventurine is gone. Cool. Cool. How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? I bet you're not used to it. 
That's I mean, just his style. All or nothing. All or nothing. Is his I mean, if you're uh, if you're blessed with luck like he is, clients while egging I them on to undertake that some would be a good way to go. assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases. Ball or nothing, a never lost a gamble. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Pana County, I'm watching with keen interest. He works in party. He's that good, huh? As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Hmm. Okay. Wood. Who are you? Careless bloodhound family member. We're carrying out our captain's orders. Whoa. What, what do you want? Why is why he sound like that? Why he British? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. Oh, was he Australian? Was he British or Australian? He only had one line. I need to hear it more. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Remember me? <laughs> oh, he's Australian? Oh, okay. You again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. Oh, yeah, that is Australian. Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. So you know each other. Why is he the only one with an Why accent, you though? Running into people you've beaten up before. Um, uh, when's our lunch break? Mmm, hungry. Oh, sheesh! Why do you keep asking me that? We're in the middle of investigating a murder case for the family. Oh. May oh. we speak to your captain about it? Oh. Uh. Well. Oh. Hey. The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. Uh... What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Uh... Yeah, th 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 that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks uh -oh. like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us... Yeah, 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 nice job. Oh, why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher. The one she mentioned, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's see. Where are we going? Gallagher is at the Dream's Edge. Whee! Whee! Oh, such tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case Oh, as man, well. not this place again. Gallagher. Gallagher. Where could he be? He's right there. That's not him. That is him. Is Someone at the Honkai Star Rail um, uh, anniversary event was dressed up as Gallagher. It was really cool. Just Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you. Is he the guy we made cry at the clock the, area? The one. Is he the one that we made cry at the clock thingy? How much trouble have you started? Uh oh. Exactly uh, 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 <clears throat> That's right! It's -a me, Clocky! Uh, you think you look alike? <laughs> Wait, are you for real? You beat him up. Not possible. It was you the last oh. time yelling about some clockwork oh. friendship. Oh. Beating me up with oh. that silver-haired girl. Is he gonna, are you about to cry? Oh, uh. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I... I, I, I... Uh. What is... Is Penacone just the, 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 the gaslighting part of the story? I'm not letting you get by Oh, this I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Please leave. Oh. Or I'll have to get on my oh. knees and beg you. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The fact. Oh, I'm sorry for what I've done huh? to you. What kind of heinous crime <laughs> have you committed? This now? is a 
sounds so bad. Marsh is gonna think I killed his kids or something with how scared he is of me. Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Yeah, I just want to see exactly Gallagher. Who is this Gallagher you keep talking Gallagher. about? Gallagher! There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. No one knows Gallagher? Uh, he didn't send you all here? Is there somebody else? It was the security officer who Is he not the security this? officer? That's I can divulge. Uh, he'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. <sighs> Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Huh. Everyone, please leave. There's oh. really no need for us to make things different. <laughs> he goes like other, assertive right? and then he goes, Oh, but pokes fingers. Please, please don't hurt me. We're really sorry for troubling you. <laughs> <sighs> Let's think of another way. Another oh my god. Uh, that's it. Did oh no, we're gonna use the clocky uh, thing on him uh, again? Uh, Clockwork? Bro, that's what started this whole issue. Mind? Oh Can no, no! March, you don't understand! That's how we fucked him up in the first place! Uh, just what I've been waiting for! Please! Oh, God. Oh, God. Can I just go? He's right. Can I just go? Sorry. No can do. Everyone, please leave. Ugh. We have to traumatize him again? Sorry. No can do. Everyone, please... Okay. Calm, angry, happy, sad. <laughs> what if we just calm him down? Oh, that's his current. He's calm right now? What if we make him angry? Oh, oopsies. I just want to see what happens. You punk. Oh, he got I brave! I understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. The security officer's word is absolute law. I told you that place <laughs> up ahead is off limits to wind. To it's rain, off limits to wind, to wind and to rain. Here, they aren't <laughs> Um, actually, it doesn't rain in the golden hour. That's just a metaphor. <laughs> a metaphor. Don't you get it? Oh, I'm warning you. If you keep insisting, oh? I'm gonna have to show you my true power. Oh. Um, uh, what, you what's your true power? What's your true power? Now. Come at me, bro! You dare defy me and my baseball bat? <sighs> Humans will never understand one another. <laughs> oh, great. Even if Quipoff were here, are we about to fight him? Uh oh. Uh oh. Him. I was just joking. There is no meaning to death in defiance. There's no Why meaning to death. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh shit, I thought Charm we could go through all the options. Oh. A lesson they won't forget. Uh, I thought we could go through all the options. Oh no. Uh Oopsies. I didn't know that was going to happen. Uh Wait, what was the actual dialogue supposed to be? I I I I picked a fight before I could read. Uh I'll end your misery. How interesting. <laughs> How how interesting. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Um So like what happens now? I, I just wanted to see the options, but now I'm kinda stuck committing to this. I'll end your misery. Okay, that's not too bad. We just beat him up every time we see him? Am I? Destined to relive this outcome. Oh, yeah, he's so traumatized. Uh-oh. Looks like you and um, I have been um, plunged into a cycle of despair. I, I'm i gonna lose my shit if in 2.2 he shows up again and we fight him again. I will I will be gone. I, I will lose it. Oh, what's he talking about? Oh, don't worry about it, Marge. It's fine. He's okay. However, this time... Oh. I will sever the chains um, of tragedy. The only way is any to, of you will pass. Is he about to? Is over my dead body. Oh, uh, um, is he about to? Is, is he okay? Is he about to die? He doesn't have to be so melodramatic. Don't say right? that, Mar. She's gonna do it. <sighs> Looks like he still doesn't. He'll free us from our chains. <laughs> chains. <laughs> okay, so we have to. We have to do. Okay. 
So we've done angry. Oh, we, we can't do calm. What if we make him sad? <laughs> you oh, oh no. Insist oh. on doing this. Oh, he crying. Sorry, but human lives and the family's reputation. Oh, Hamako's the one spearheading this. It's imperative we know everything about the case. No, I meant to say, do I really have to get down oh. on my knees and grovel? I just wanted to see the options. Oh, if you don't mind. <sighs> I didn't think you would kick someone when they were down. I mean, <laughs> if that's the case, I'll just have to acquiesce. To Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Lower Ain't no way. Steamed head and plead with. Everyone. Lower my esteemed head. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Standing is just fine. You don't need to do that. <sighs> Looks like he still doesn't. Okay. Okay, so you you do have to make him happy. Okay, okay. I was gonna be like, if you can just brute force your way through, that'd be hilarious. <sighs> Let me see what time it is now. Oh, he changed tunes real quick. Whoa, it's this time already. <laughs> what? Time to clock out. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Clocking out is more important than anything what? else in this world. Me, whenever I finish my job. Uh, this clockwork trick of yours, it's kind of dangerous. <sighs> At least he won't be getting in our way again. <sighs> Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. Gallagher. I was wondering what all the commotion Whoa. was. There he huh. is. We didn't uh, walk up to him. Guy. He just shows up. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? His voice is not what I expected, but I'm getting used to it, and I quite like it now. Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Mr. Gallagher, Judging sir! Time, it sounds like you were expecting <laughs> us. Look, he's got puppy paws on his shirt. Cape <laughs> thing. Miss Himiko, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. Mr. Gallagher. She Apple puts Express some respect on his title. Of the watchmaker. I had an encounter with this lady in the golden hour. You did? I remember that little silver-haired girl was there, too. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. Oh, this is also Oops, I clicked it before I visit you, Mr. Gallagher. That's exactly what the family order said. So, okay. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it. I in the hopes of getting justice. Do y'all remember when we had a vod that we were counting belts. One, two, three, four, five, six. I I don't know. I think he might be a contender for how many belts. Hmm. Hmm. Just from a distance. So for upcoming content, I think I'm gonna grab Sam Slade and Camden, and we're gonna go through all the characters in the game, and we're just gonna see whose button is working the hardest to keep their shirts together. Shirts or pants, but in this case, it's a shirt. But I think that will be um, a tier list we'll have to work on. And then we need a we need one for the belts, uh, updating the belt video with um, this guy's belts because he's got he's definitely got one. He's got he's got two here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to say this is eight. But then do these count or are these just strappy harnesses? The nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. On Pentaconi, everyone loves the family. He said that way too quick to be real. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. The passes button is, in fact, screaming in pain. Mask. You are absolutely right. Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Oh. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. Mm. Oh, you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. Well, this is not a good place to talk. Let's where go he taking us? Where he taking us? At this moment on the other side. Oh? Oh? Where are you taking us, sir? Even after that, Ooh. 
chilling tragedy, this dream is still running We're back to these two. Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Like a living idol. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and mm. a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance. <clears throat> Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Pinnacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits. And so does the Divines. Oh? That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a Galaxy Ranger would make. Uh... Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going uh. on than I do. Does... do you? Do, do. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? Miss Acheron. The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Really? Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. Um. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately huh. backfired. This is... Catalyst. There's... I... I... Usually with stories, you can kind of... You can kind of follow the trajectory and guess where it's headed towards. As it is right now, I have no idea where the story is going. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pains... Are we going to ever go back to Duke Inferno? And only ease and pleasure... He like showed up earlier and then he was gonzo they again. They closer and closer to necrosis. Oh. Regardless Why? of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Huh. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread... One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. Uh. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned what them. What is that? I'm sure what you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's, That's I remember. remember. Her memory. I wish they. I, I'm sure they will soon. But I. I wish we could know more about this memory issue she's got. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of her sword, and then quickly lets go in the blink of an eye. <sighs> Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become. Yeah, this memory thing is interesting. Forgetful. Huh. It's only when this sword is unsheathed. That those hazy memories start to become clearer. Uh huh. Someone says Akron needs to install more RAM. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> well, it's like that's weird, but okay. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Penacone. Ask away. Um. Regarding the moment of daybreak. The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. Oh. I say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. Ooh. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Huh? Her greatest wish She's was so... to one day move to the golden hour. Who, who this? And see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I met. Oh, why didn't she bring her a garment? Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city. The huh, economic part of okay. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running. Funding blood that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. 
The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. Okay. I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. Oh. I could only stand at the crossroads. The Moogle people don't want to talk. Watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel. Only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they've earned into the bank's vault. Oh, wow. It really is old dog. That's pretty funny. I don't know if they would open the vault door. But before I left... I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky. Well-dressed Papeshi Others person. Others around him continued on their way. It, it reminds me of uh, Lo, Loro, Loro Popo, Lo, Lo Lolito, whatever the old uh, that kills. Oh, I don't want to. Well, I guess it's it's a spoiler from a decade ago, so does it matter? About the blue. Hour. I hear the blue hour is Lo Lolito. I was close. Romantic. Do you have any tales to share? The blue hour. Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Eventide, anchored along the Sea of Dreams, where soft music and dancing persist. How oh, very nice, night. very nice, romantic. I ran into a wizened lady there. Wizened lady. Who she was that? at the dock, waiting for her long-departed lover to return. Waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. Oh. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark Whoa? depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Oh. Finally, we retreated to the beach. About the moment of dusk. The dreamscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism. The moment of dusk. My companions have been there, too. Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price. And everything can be bought or sold. Even dreams themselves. I saw an Intellitron there. Who was oh, wow. To himself. She is going through a bunch of these. A bid under we've done the Papeshi, we've done Intellitron. They would do the buyers every bidding. <clears throat> becoming that person's very possession. Oh. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times. And I participated in his 13th. Oh. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. Oh. Did he but die? Never again did anyone cast what happened? another glance at him. Oh, this no, he time didn't. around there were no successful oh. bids for him. What what happened to him? What happened to him? This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Someone once said to me, Panacone wasn't like this a long time ago. Nor should it be. I've traveled through Ooh. the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities. Watched the tides of night oh. rise and fall when time stopped for people. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the oh, world that here comes. desire, if this is precisely I love it when they do the red text. Slumber, should we still seek to change it? Miss <sighs> mm. Acheron, now it's my turn to oh. share a story with you. Why don't you share a story with us, Weld? There was a man from my homeland who... Oh. At a time oh, oh, when the oh, world oh, oh. was grappling with is this unhealed okay, by third lore pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. And since that moment. The giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the, oh, the world's music is existence. Nice. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, 
forever lost their <clears throat> future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished it's not the to Kevin awaken theme? that this spiritual Adam became mm. unbreakable. And yet, you stand here right now. Which also means... Oh. That Rub it in, feel. why don't you? Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses This is giving me a pretty happy Final Fantasy XIV vibes. Forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. When you face Emmett Selk. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. Ooh. He was the sun chaser it's of legend, of legend, soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. If you use the these exact words to describe to Emmett Selk in Final Fantasy XIV, I would, I would think you're talking about that character. Before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him. Okay, now this is where the similarities end. Greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Kevin is the... Kevin was a nameless? Trailblazer? Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike. Oh, don't. oh, interesting. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds. Witnessing this is honestly giving similar to mine. Really heavy FF14. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar. The story you just told. It overlaps with my past. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And within that abyssal dream. I ended that man's life. Oh, shit. Alone. Uh... <sighs> uh... I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. Did she kill K Kevin? I am sorry. Oh, shit. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, oh. I wish to continue the previous talk. Can you just tell me the answer? I was so invested. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. Uh... They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling. All because the sun was there. God, Allegra is fucking killing it with the voice then, acting. What if the last and well, bird the holy crab, her voice is into the sky. gorgeous. Only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness. Then why exactly do we even walk towards I can the see light? why she's nihility, that's for sure. Huh. Whew. Goosebumps everywhere. Holy crap. Oh, we're back to Black Swan. Hello, Swanee. Welcome back from your murder death tango. Can you pick up the phone? Long time no see. 
Having fun on Pentacony? Acheron. Ooh. That's not Acheron. Girl, you got the wrong number. This voice. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Who's Constance? Though I don't know exactly what you are or what you're up to, my bullets will find you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Panacone and ask the young Why he got an accent? He got a country casket. accent to him. You, Very slot one, but... Imposter? I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron, too. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? Who the heck are you? Yeehaw! I'm the Garden of Recollections. Me howdy! My name is... <laughs> Who are you? Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. Hey. You got an imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave a round for you. So get that forehead clean. So get Wait that forehead clean! <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But, you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger, yes? <sighs> I have something to ask you. <laughs> you oh my, he's like so silly! Sure. What a stupid little whoever you are, a little silly little yeehaw. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt. Path strider. But you are, aren't you? He's hunt? Tell me. What's Acheron's deal? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a strong An ally. I wish they committed to the accent even more just for funsies. I don't care if it's out of character that he's... I wish we had a full-on yeehaw. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll be on Panacone soon. Uh, memo Keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's White Oak and warm it up. And I'll raise a glass to you. That lady's past. <laughs> well... Nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure. You best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron. She a real oh. Who should not exist. Oh. She looks so much like Zila in this shot. The side shot where her hair is. She looks so much like Zila. That was Boot Hill? Oh, yeah, they did announce Boot Hill. I was like, wait a minute, who's Boot Hill? Okay. <laughs> no! 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 Why? Are we getting back together? Are we getting back together? I. Alright, Ratio, you can't possibly. You can't possibly disappoint me again. You look pale. Uh, uh or is. That Bitch, you betrayed me! Oh. Huh. I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. Yeah, for real! Get out of here! I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. <laughs> Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. Oh, wait, what? So... The genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. Uh... <laughs> my... Hi, Jay. What an honor. I'm a little serious. I'm, I'm very scared. Yes. And I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due oh. time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them. Because I'm the manager of this task. Uh, uh. Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine oh. is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing... You guys while you're got a lot of nerve! <laughs> my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. <laughs> they hold the secrets of Penacony. <laughs> so I took 
the opportunity <laughs> to set everything in motion. Wait, what's happening? I was laughing at myself. Um, I go, okay. I even managed to recover the gift money. Oh, okay. We're, we're doing pretty good Things then. Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the we're doors doing great. of the reverie. We're doing great. Now I'm only one step away from... What? The... Let's... What the... What did I admit? I'm pretty sure people are okay. Yes. And okay, we knew that. Pretty sure, oh, you've got a... well, my conversation with Sunday convinced there's me there's a traitor, that there's a traitor in, the in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Peniconi. I even managed to recover the gift money. Okay. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away. Okay. It's just... Sounds like a very elaborate <laughs> way of saying that. You're so family. supportive! <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You, the truth. Yeah, yeah, and... yeah, yeah. Don't think I forgot. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. Surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift that? money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. Oh. Dun -dun 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 -dun. You are indeed a gambler. In an hey, he's a gambler! He just like FFRFR! We also gamble! Maybe we I gotcha! Know. Yay! It always nice. cracks me up when people in the comment sections are like, I can't believe the voice actors are condoning gotcha practices. And we're sitting there like, we are victims. We are victims to this scheme. How dare you? <sighs> Fine. Ooh, Here, very ratio-coded of you. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this? Medical advice? I mean, he is a doctor. <laughs> oh, he gone. You catch on pretty fast, Doctor. What's happening? Are they having like secret brainwave telecommunications going on? <laughs> oh, 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 no! Oh, no. Oh, wait, these are different. These aren't rainbow. These are musical. Wait, were the other ones musical? These are, these are different from the rainbow gaslight waves. These are different. Asking me to solve a case without giving a single clue. How typical of you, you wing headed scoundrel. <laughs> That is slightly less funny than Chicken Wing Boy. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the no, there's music notes right here. Is this not the rainbow gaslight waves? On everyone. Uh, okay. Mundanite, a most exquisite scroll holding a doctor's prescription within. Doctor Ratio advises you to only unveil it in a moment of life or death. You look distressed. Is something troubling you? If so, you can figure out. Wait! You look distressed. Is I'm something troubling you? If so, you can figure it out yourself. <laughs> I love when the doctor tells me, oh, everything's blurry. What's happening? Senpai, hello! Thank you for the resub! Whoa. We ha Wait, do the rainbow gaslight waves just stay on the corner of my screen forever now? Oh, no, no. Wait, wait, I want to see what they're doing up here. Oh, they're jamming out! Here, I'll, I'll tip you, I'll tip you. I'll, I'll tip you slash also, like, I don't know, crash you. <laughs> crash down a giant dice on you. Very nice, very nice. Okay, well, let's go talk to her. La LaCroix! Her name's Would LaCroix. Would you be willing to support my performance? La Rose. And keep the song of LaCroix in the cosmos? Here, I got these gems for you. Oh, we're just giving money wow. out, right. How fabulous! But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Well, you see, I can't bear to see anyone in this... <laughs> He is lying through his teeth. That's 
<laughs> He's being I Mr. Beast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you huh? happen to know anything interesting? Hey, just about just silly question. Death? Do you want to tell me about you know dying? Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting. Man is lying through his teeth. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the reality hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Oh. Nobody knows what caused it, but oh. luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May Shipei protect us. Shipei? That's how you say it? Shipei? Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. <laughs> Darn, how dare they live? I can feel something oh, that groan. my head. Why are you groaning like that? And he's starting to kick in. He, he, he's having like a mental breakdown inside and then his face is just like, hee hee, smile. Oh. Okay, let's see. Go down over here. Oh, Chirimu, thank you for the raid. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we got partner last time. Thank you, everybody. Hello, hello. We're playing through 2.1 Pentacony Story. I am avoiding Twitter and whatever social media there is to try to avoid spoilers because we were at the Honkai Star anniversary event. So please, no spoilers, please. Yeah. Chabro. Chabro. Yeah. Chabro. Truly lost its way <laughs> he's having a moment and we're just like hey you want some money you wait i get it now this is some sort of prank show right you must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds oh right wow he's really calling us out you Youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. Uh, 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 but you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. <laughs> yeah, I VTube as a fish because I don't want to... I'm trying to... So I voiced Zila in Honkai Star Rail Raiders and I'm trying to not constantly... Because I... <sighs> It's a little bit weird when people will call me Zila or like, oh, why is Zila in Panacone or, or comments like that. So I try to, if I can, distance myself a little bit from the branding, but I don't mind either way. I just really like the fish, so I just use the fish that way. No big deal. Oh, a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death? <laughs> Do you know where I can find death, old man? Ah. I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death. Huh? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't <laughs> think you're the first one who's ever... You ain't special! I've thought about death before, too! Death? Not even <laughs> remotely... You think you're creative, thinking I about dying? <laughs> he claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Oh, but what a disappointment. The effects were awful. <laughs> First, some monster covered in the eyes. effects were awful. The gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. <laughs> the sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. <laughs> hey, he pukes! He just like me afar afar! Is that all? <laughs> Good night, Chairman. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> yeah. 
What else can you expect? <laughs> this guy is so funny. Stock in the he has movies. to be drunk right now. They even called this junk groundbreaking art. <laughs> can you believe it? Groundbreaking art? <laughs> <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day. Eventually he's like, alright, I've had enough of this dude, get me out of here. Covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. But buildings and lights, I don't think those have anything to do with death. Oh, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm dying inside as he smiles. Head. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. What's getting closer? Bochi! Bochi the Rock! A sip of liquor, a blissful reprieve, to drown a thousand sorrows, let worries leave. <laughs> Excuse I me? I know I have what it takes to become a poet. <laughs> he's writing, he's writing the lyrics for the next Bochi the Rock Bop. Oh? <laughs> oh no, he's just drunk, never mind. You, you're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. <laughs> <laughs> or are you just pitying me? Both? Well, it really doesn't matter. Kisoku Band has I fallen off, so truly. Well. They are going on That's some hard not. times. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> <laughs> you really should Bochi the so drunk. I'm so glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe I oh really boy. should quit, but not before he me. is having a moment. The devil of soul glad, bro. He, yeah, no, he gone. He's yes. gone. Hi, Shamari. Thanks for the resub. The devil of soul glad. <laughs> Care to elaborate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a seahorse <laughs> with a long neck. <laughs> My seahorses already have long necks. They say it loves to appear to drunk people, especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Very funny indeed. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, God. Everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? <laughs> <sighs> Darn it! <laughs> now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. Ooh. Everything's full of sugar. It's a dream after all. <laughs> Ooh, the rainbow gaslight waves are kind of giving me a headache. Whoa. Okay, he looks like he's. Important. Wait, he's got- does he have the same model as Gallagher? 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 Gallagher. Wait, is this the same outfit as Gallagher? He's got the button that's working way too hard. Wait, am I crazy? He looks like Gallagher's outfit. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. What voice actor is this? Here I got some gems for you. Uh, the expression on this hunk of a man was complex, as if he were looking at a mud-soaked sparrow, unable to fly and nearing its end. You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. Oh. <laughs> that won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the this same. This button right here. All right then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. To us hounds. Well, actually, I it do might be Ratio's VA. I don't know. As the most outstanding. Smash Wolseley. Oh, good lord. Company. Have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Stowaways. How could there be stowaways? No, it's not Keith Silverstein. It doesn't We've sound like Keith at all. Like that before. <laughs> all right. 
Good luck with your work. Keith Silverstein's voice, I promise you, is instantly identifiable. Nobody has a voice like him. Uh, what was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. <laughs> uh oh, we're still going through it. <sighs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Breathing. Hello. Hello, Pepeshi. Hello, Moogle. You want to talk to me? Sure. But nothing too sensitive, okay? <laughs> huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. I'm just a kind and generous soul. <sighs> so... Are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? Um, <laughs> I'm uh -oh. flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something. Tell me, well dressed Lollafell. Ah, <sighs> another curious soul. I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. It doesn't sound like Lizzie. How did your boss talk you out of it? I'm not sure who it is. Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday oh. candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. What do you mean? It's the height of media. I mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. Interesting. All right, is he, gonna, <sighs> is he groaning? He's groaning, he's groaning. <sighs> oh, any more? Any more? Okay, that's it. Not enough credits left. Uh, where do I recharge? That sounds like Stephen Kelly, the voice actor for Skrullum. Ooh, the rainbow, um, gaslight waves are getting bigger. Merchant security. Hmm. Oh, were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. Barrel? Barrel? Is this a gift? Yeah! Congratulations! Me? You've got some money! Are Woo! you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? No, no, I love giving out money. Yes, it's for you. Just take it. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. Oh, there's some backstory here. Thank you. Thank you so much. There is some backstory here. No, oh, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. <sighs> I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Um... Neither. I just wanted to know if you've never heard about death in the dreamscape. <laughs> this guy, Adventuring oh, is such a silly little guy. Everywhere he goes, like here's the money. Tell me about death. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. He's an Intellitron. So Whoa. His dream entry methods are different from us organics. Us organics? Is that what humans are in this? We're organics? Funny. Right now, I'm still under his protection. How ironic. This is the equivalent of people saying that regular YouTubers are flesh tubers. They're organics. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one. Oh, day, right? that's cute. Wow, hmm. wow, wow, wow. Devil of Soul Glad. Dangers in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is surely. A he said surely. He said surely. Dream granted by the family. Well, I, I knew he was one of us, guys. I knew he was one of us. Useful clues. He also believes that Shirley is in the room with us tonight. Oh. Oh. Hello, Lollafell. Moogle. Lala. Oh, 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 oh. Remember oh. what I said. You Sigonians are better oh. at hiding in the sewer. That is Sparkle. That is Lizzie Freeman. That is Lizzie Freeman's voice. Um. Um. Okay. Look at you, snooping around and sticking your nose out. I'm gonna raise my desk a little bit. I'm getting kind of invested in this. Is there this she is. Of death? 
So enticing, my fine fellow. <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. It's the girly pop! The imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? She's she's so cute I and got caught by the family. Oh god. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? Every time she appears on screen with Aventurine, I'm like, oh god, what is she gonna say? What is she gonna say? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends oh. with a mute, oh. not become one yourself. Oh. You really let me down. I <laughs> She has no chill. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? So Robin did you die in front of him? Blondie. Instructions were truly unclear, truly. One thing I will say is I I really like how Adventuring as a character, we still don't know that much about him, but whenever he's insulted or people don't trust him or anyone says anything, uh oh, something happened. Whenever something happens, um, or like again when when that that moment in two point oh when when I almost said Lizzie when Sparkle is calling him all sorts of pretty nasty stuff, he never retaliates in anger, which I think is, I don't know, just something interesting about his personality. No, I mean, what did you mean by becoming one myself? Well, He's mute. it means you'll soon oh. end up like her, uh -oh. unable to speak ever again. Uh oh. <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because. Because? Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh. Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing oh. around. So, now that I've drawn- Oh, this is out, part of his plan! You reward me with an answer for my effort? Yes, 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 yes. Why should I help you? Oh, don't you want to see Panacone descend into chaos? Why do you say it like that? Well, into <laughs> chaos. Why do you I say it like that? To one question. I can make that happen. That, that, just being quirky, silly girl me, things. Did you really mean Robin? Oh, oh there's Robin! There's Robin! Oh. I, I, I see it! I get the vision now. I see the vision. The dots are connecting. And what if I say no? Right? The dots are connecting? <laughs> then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. Oh. Uh, the two of them are out girl bossing each other. <laughs> well done. Oh, is that not I a Robin? Oh, motherfucker, I don't know then. But what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. A suburb? There were two mutes, but one is dead now. Okay, the people other, are saying it's a nightingale, and then some people are saying it's a raven. It's I'm it's a it's it's gonna be it's a bluebird. It's that one Naruto opening. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth, and the means to expose it. Oh. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. <laughs> Not exactly. Not exactly! I've to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions... I'll find them within 17... Oh, no. Yeah, our, our time is going, dude. System hours. Oh, really? Only I don't know why that keeps... What is happening? Well, what is happening? Hello? Oh, hello? Girl, why are you beeping? Oh, 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 oh. Um, um, um. Oh, are we good? Are, are we good? 
okay, we're good, we're good. Nothing happened. Right? Here Surely. This is my precious mutual. Sparkle is fucking with my tag. Oh. I have one just like it. Is when that the, of the boom boom button? It, the boom other button? and the whole of Penicone will go up in smoke. Oh wow. These two are really They both really just want everything to explode. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penicone, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. Is everybody course, giving him a feel free to Hey, when things get really bad, press this button kind of thing? Because Ratio gave us a little thingy too. Hospice oh, care? deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? Uh, uh... <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have oh. to decline your offer. Who oh. knows if your little oh. gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Panicone. I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. Yeesh. And at the climax, the walls will hydrate, crumble. Hydrate, hydrate. People will wake up. And those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. Those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. When that time comes, go ahead. Press the button, light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks Y'all are kind of, kind of spooky. Catch you later, fool. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Uh, Just don't let me down now, okay? Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Oh. So, number 35. Oh, shit. You're back. Like your new lucky charm. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. <sighs> the guys in black didn't say much. So I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre. Massacre. Oh no. But I figured you must have had good luck. So I Oh bought no. You. I wonder if now he on, you and your good luck are my ass. Does he survive everything cuz he's are we blessed with innate good luck? Your first task is simple. Oh. oh, he was a you, slave, I motherfucker! 30, well, thirty-four other slaves. Go and play a game with them. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Uh. You're insane. <laughs> Testing uh. is a good product. Uh. Aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But <laughs> you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along. What? Don't, customers? Don't master down. I thought he was fighting. Is he doing something else? <sighs> How much did you spend? What? Huh? My price. Uh, how much did you pay for me? Uh huh? Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Um. Well, it was 60 tonba. No more, no less. I'll take my chances. Huh? 30 tonba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tonba. Deal? Okay. <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? I mean, oh, if he does have good luck, this is guts. this is a good route to go. Yeah, sorry, but um, uh, that won't do. Did you even click his Don't tongue? Ugh. Your place, slave. 
Sorry, but uh, that won't do. <laughs> You're just a chip, a life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. Man, okay, so I, I, I every time we see anything for his backstory, it's all pretty bad. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hat. Everybody in this game treats Aventurine so badly. Sparkle doesn't isn't really nice to him. Ratio betrayed him earlier in the Lego set. And like every flashback we see is pretty depressing. I thought this patch was about Acheron, but I think it's about Aventurine. I'm a little bit confused about that, to be honest. Okay, we're huh. back to. What brings you here, Gallagher? Oh, Sh Siobhan? is that her name? Sh Some Shibin? friends from the Siobhan? old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Siobhan. Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies Damn, and she's hot. A dream Hello, Mama! This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at soul Oh, <laughs> Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. Mama me. Oh. Hello, hello. What would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, she'll whip oh, it up for us. A lady as cool as Serval. Oh, I love that she thinks Serval. I think she is Serval. <gasps> Who's Serval? Will you oh, uh, introduce me to her? Oh shit! Um, interesting. Interesting. I didn't know this option would lead to this. Oh. Oops. <laughs> She's heard us. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. Oh, he's he's retiring from his bloodhound duties to become a bartender. Single mom who works two jobs. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice. Single mom who works two jobs. <laughs> food on my table. What did you say, Steve? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients, ingredients you fancy. fancy. Yeah. The discussion might take quite some time. Take so quite I'll some prepare dime. some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. <gasps> you can help yourself to anything. My you lovely for. lady. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach right at your fingertips. Hey. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Me too! I know, right, girly? I know. Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender Single needs to mom who the works two atmosphere. jobs. Master Every time he talks, it's all it's I hear. A tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink. The fish is blocking the what? Customer's life the the what now? Chat, say that again. I just want you to just be, be a little bit clear. The fish is blocking the what now? What are y'all trying to see, huh? Huh? What are y'all trying to see? Just, just want to make it clear that you guys want me to move the fish because of why? Why? Make it a little bit more clear. <laughs> In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. But don't ever think it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoying. <laughs> no, I'm not moving the fish. This is for my eyeline only. How dare you guys suggest such things? Let <laughs> the bakery open. <laughs> Oh, single mom who works two jobs and loves her kids and that never being stops. said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. So, okay. go ahead. Explore the bar and bring me any ingredients you prefer. Okay. Go ahead, my friend. I'm okay. Go behind the bar. Wait, there's a book here. Sticker. What's this? Uh, hey, look at all these chips scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. 
I can only imagine how intense that scene must have been. Nah, it turned out to be a landslide victory. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place, filled with monsters, filled with monsters? is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. Mm, recipe high stakes. Uh, being content is a virtue for mortals, whereas hesitation is a fatal flaw for gamblers. Himiko! Hello! What is this? It's Soul Glad! But I thought they didn't sell Soul Glad at the bar. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Let's give it a shake! Maybe. Don't! It's no good for our drink if all shaken up! Uh huh. I. Let's just leave it here for a while. And it'll be all right, right? Why don't they sell Soul Glad in this bar? Yeah, I want to know the Soul Glad Did story. What is going on? It's all about the oh. bartender's pride. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. Oh. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Oh my god. <laughs> that reminds right. me. <clears throat> At the Honkai Star Rail anniversary event, I met Unreal Dreamer, right? And he's a very, very big coffee fiend. He drinks a lot of coffee. I don't drink coffee. I have not drinking coffee in over a decade because I don't do bitter very well. I don't like anything bitter, even tea or anything. I just don't like anything bitter. And good lord, that man, his blood runs on coffee. So he took us to a coffee place and... I think because my body has not, I haven't had coffee in so long, as soon as I drank it, I had poo-poo problems all day. I don't know if Mina told uh, her chat about it, but we were supposed to all hang out together, but I had so many stomach problems after that coffee that I just, I was knocked out. I literally went to lunch or dinner, I can't even remember, I went to dinner with Caleb and our other voice acting friends. And then, uh, my Han, or sorry, uh, 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 Mina and Ruby and all the content creators, I think like Tuwanto went and everybody, they were all going to round one. And I was like, nope, I'm, I'm a goner. Just leave me behind. You were knocked out a lot. Oh my God. Yeah, no, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't. Oh, okay. She probably didn't mention. She said I was, spe oh yeah. So she did. Did she tell you I was sleeping? That's so funny. We had, so Brax wanted to have dinner or breakfast together. And breakfast was at like 10 o'clock in the morning and Mina woke up and went. I did not. I slept through everything. But no, this particular coffee experience, I went to Caleb's house and I was going to meet them at uh, round one. But I was like, nope, nope, I'm, 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 I'm gone. Leave me behind. Move on without me. But yeah, no, coffee, coffee is not my thing. But I felt like I had to drink it because it actually tasted really good. I just my body wasn't used to it, Stay and then way. oh, I'm looking for Siobhan. Oh, someone else is here. But uh huh? What's all the commotion about? I sounded like heard of for a second. I was really confused. But um, what was it? Uh, uh, UD paid for the coffee so fast. Like I was pulling out my phone to do the tap to pay, and he his card was already tapped there. So I was like, oh shoot. Okay, I gotta, I gotta drink it now. Uh, and it tasted good, but god, my, my digestive system could not handle it. Tick tock! Tick tock! Oh, this clocky is having a moment. Alright, let's see. Uh... Uh... Oh, this one moves too. Uh. Wee. Is there another one that moves? Am I crazy? Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Is there another one? Oh, lordy. Is that not enough? Oh, hang on. There we go. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, UD, UD's a big coffee fiend. 
Dun 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 Ah, oh, no five star. Is this a new area of the map? Is there anything else here? I'm a grown up. What is that? I'm a grown up? Arrive. Oh, okay. This is achievement for being. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum. Ooh, chest. Chest! Nothing else over here. Why is Himiko here already? Okay, let's go talk to this lady. Hello! Hello! <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amaki? Amaki! The Dream Jolt Hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. Oh! Proposal? Marriage? But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this run-down shack. Oh, wow. Come She's emotional. We'll emotional. Of Penicone is shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. Damn. <sighs> She says, nope. As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Oh. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and oh. not go. That's the way to do it. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. It sounds like a threat. Just one moment. Deal. We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that? <gasps> Ooh, it's time to be emotionally manipulative again. How come even you, Himiko? Time is running out. We need to hurry. Okay. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Okay, surely we'll pick the right answer. No worries at all. You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to Hi, leave, Gallagher. please stop Hi, it. Gallagher. I'll never leave. Single until mom she who works two jobs. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. It's not rundown. It's nice. Shabon just said, anything can be imbibed. Perhaps you can try various experiences, experiments to see what different emotions can brew with different drink ingredients. Try reading her thoughts. All right, she's kind of going through it right now. So let's try to make her... Well, I feel like she's angry right now and then we could have made her calm. What is it like when she's sad? It's ridiculous, right? Oh. Our paths oh. Were never meant to cross. Oh. Oh. Yet I'm still holding on to her. This is the plot of a Yuri. And shy. I was with Mina for a whole weekend. Stepping into the spot. I know. I know things I now that I didn't perceive before. Because I'll never be able to do anything alone. <gasps> you don't know. Siobhan's past, and you have oh. no clue how oh. radiant oh. she used to be. How radiant? You Even only describe a person as radiant if you got a special connection. Attached. I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. No, I don't. Girlie, I think a different thing entirely. Her to reclaim her place. She mentioned reading a lot of smut in the hotel. I woke up and she was reading fanfics. I don't know if it was smut, but I know when I woke up, she was in bed reading fanfics. <laughs> you feel an inexplicable mix of bitterness and sweetness that permeates the air. Fuck. She's oh. still not... Leaving. Maybe I'll have 
insufficient active ingredient experiment failed the scholar frustrated by his blah, blah 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 first failure randomly poked at the terminal developing a new poison formula proved to be much more challenging than anticipated if he couldn't produce results by tomorrow his mind was overwhelmed with worry leading him to knock over the test of the rack the liquids from two unidentified containers mixed releasing a pungent odor and then it was successful um try again okay all right sadness is not the way why she won't leave Okay, it's obviously happiness. Obviously. Happiness. Have you seen the Aventurin Topaz art where someone combined Aventurin's new art with I've Topaz seen from it. her LC? The moment when Siobhan and I share the stage, the crowd is going wild, applause crashing like waves, the aroma of irises fills the air. A beautiful melody playing, ribbons dancing around us, and the taste. She is down honey. so bad. I've seen that so scene bad times in my dreams, and every time it mesmerizes me. That's why I've seen that art. Yeah, I've seen the art of Topaz and Aventurine. Yeah, to yeah. That world. No I don't. What it takes. I don't know. I don't ship it because I don't do they they don't really interact in the game yet maybe down the line I don't ship it yet just because I don't know anything about the I for me if I'm gonna ship two characters I need to have story significance and lore reasons I'm not really someone who ships because two characters look like they would be cute together because I think a lot of characters would be cute together for me it's very um I need I need something else so I don't know if the if if that art is just inspired by Sam or what but I I don't I don't have the ship just yet Maybe as the story goes on, I could I could see more about it. But as of right now, I don't really from their interactions in the game, but I didn't it didn't even seem like they liked each other too much. Want to raise a glass, my attentive listener? Like Amiki and Siobhan have had more interactions than Topaz and Aventurine. To my far fetched dream. Not She's happiness still didn't make her leave. She. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. I mean, on screen time. Well, we can only we can only base it off of on screen time. We don't know what happens off of screen. I don't I don't know what you want me to say to that. I can only base my opinion off of what the story tells me. Let's try. I mean, she was already calm earlier, wasn't she? Mm. Angry? Those darn oh, Iris jerks! Uh oh, they're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Huh. I get Whoa. It now. She's not I I don't know if anger she is the way to go either. To them again. I I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the dream master exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Ooh. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Ooh. Well, uh, 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 that you, was the answer. It down. My thoughts are swirling, making my mind clear. Oh, and bringing tears to my eyes. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me okay she's having a moment of self-reflection for the drinks please pass it on to her i'm leaving now hi amaki has left <sighs> that's good for her god she's Radiant beautiful be enticing but they're nothing more than dreams her drink is on the house please when you're ready 
Go to Gallagher. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. Gallagher, cook her me up something. That being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix, mix it, it up. up, and it's done. Okay. So go ahead, explore the bar, and bring me any ingredients okay. you prefer. Okay, okay. Nice work. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now, take your pick. What did I pick up? I don't remember anymore. Each drink has its own unique flavor. And the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, Bye, which Earl. one would you like to use as the base? Okay, base. Oh, did I not get this one? Oh, uh... This soda made of fermented white grapes tastes both sour and bitter. It serves as an exceptionally revitalizing remedy for summer heat, and consuming it often results in sneezing and a runny nose. According to those who have tested it, it feels like a cold hand pressed against your neck. Pikachu! <laughs> Let's do... Hmm... The original formula is said to be Hanunu's favorite drink. Hanunu! It's sour and bitter, and the bubbles burst in your throat like swallowing rusty chains, evoking thoughts of dungeons and prisons. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to mm -hmm. pick the adjunct, the ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. It should give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. Uh oh. So, what's your I only have one thing left. It's about to be so glad. Oh, wait, never mind. Bright future. One day we will have a real house. With a cup of coffee in her hand, your wife says, It will have a yard where we can grow flowers, a hall where we can dance, a transparent attic where we can gaze at the stars, and ideally, a small dog to cuddle and fall asleep with. That would truly be. That would truly be the truly brisk, blissful life. That would truly be the truly blissful. I hate when words repeat themselves as closely. You smile in silence and propose a toast. A warm vapor swirls and ascends, gently caressing the ceilings before dissipating. A bright future exists only in. Dr this hit real close to home. I don't know about you guys, gamers, because buying a house in this economy, in this economy, uh, excuse me, uh uh. All right, I want to do. I want to do whatever this shit is. This thing looks crazy. The taste is not very intense. Oh. Yet evocative. After those despicables sent Mikhail away, I found myself lost in the wilderness of my dreams. They say that even the dirt here oozes with sweetness. <laughs> oh. All I tasted was stoic bitterness. Mikhail, you said. Said the word. Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Which style do you prefer? Anything you need, I've got it. Um, Hanu sign. A symbol of bravery and dauntlessness. Yeah. May you break free from your shackles just like he did. Well, it's done. What's it look like? Oh wow. Here's to you, Trailblazer, with this glass. It looks like it's got fire wood. inside it. To the sad truth. To the sad truth. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're I still Daniel, think yeah. that Hanu is voiced by Danny DeVito. <laughs> so are you satisfied? Oh, the flavors. They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. <laughs> Listen, we don't have to put Soul Glad down. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece. Especially with I love her voice so much. I can taste the so spicy and rich sour and flowy. Hint of sweetness. I love it. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint oh. you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Does this true taste Ooh. have anything yes, to do with it? Yes, tell me Mikhail? more about Mikhail. I heard this name in my dream. Yeah, that name does sound.
sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Mikhail! Do you remember? Yeah, it was Misha <sighs> calling out Mikhail. <laughs> I was right about you. You guys oh. seem to know oh. quite a bit. Oh. Oh. And now oh. there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Oh. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. Oh, oh, oh. Mikhail, Mikhail. All right. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. She's a stowaway. She managed to fool me at first. We knew that. My age must be getting the best of me. <laughs> but here on middle the aged of man, he's middle aged, but I want him. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing: we only received bad news, and the tricky is kind at that. She simply vanished. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality, as if she had never come to Penaconi at all. Huh? Huh? Does that mean? What does that mean? Death eradicated her. Maybe things will turn out different than we think. Is she a ghost? <gasps> a clever metaphor. Um, you you were making a metaphor, right? <laughs> Let me be frank. This case actually. She's like, oh no. Is, is she unlike dumb? anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before dealt with before so death does happen in Penaconi if I understand correctly you've witnessed it so there's no need to hide even the shiniest he's, city has its dark he's side. telling us a lot considering we're all adults here surely I don't need to explain too much to you oh confronting the family based on that alone would be naive death may occur in sweet dreams so what such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. Oh. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the truth. Back to the capital F family, family, of course. I guess it's Aye, time yeah, to tell yeah, the yeah. story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral mm. Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? No. There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penaconi, and thus the answer to the question. Watch the legacy of the Watchmaker, the father slumber. of Penaconi, be Danny DeVito. <laughs> That's the exact wording. I like his face. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No. But I'm the officer in charge of this case, so how could I not know? The I'm family. sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. The you might family. have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. I'm very Actually, surprised this patch has been so much story dialogue and, and not too much walking around. Which makes sense, because we've already explored the area, and now we're diving correct. into the story. The family has considered the Watchmaker an enemy for a long time, but the Hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous mm. message to the outside world? I want to know what's going on with the family! Chaos? Go back to Sunday. I mean, he so terrifies the shit out of me, but go back to, to Sunday. Opportunity to I mean, Twirl's hair. I wouldn't mind getting to know him better. <laughs> Scarily well, Twirl's hair. Trembly hand Twirl's hair. We authorized the nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the oh. land of the dreams at all. Oh, wait, He's what? The most shameful stain in the history of Penaconi. And he's the root cause oh. of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. I thought he was like the progenitor. You don't get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family. Oh. He's the watchmaker. The betrayer of the family. Huh? 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 <laughs> huh? Sometime later. 
Yay, Pentacone! So happy! Yay! The most popular entertainment center in Pentacone. Yay! <laughs> Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history Didn't in the most he? authentic Didn't way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. Oh. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. <laughs> be, what the heck? <laughs> the prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped. And people started meeting each other in their dreams. Whoa. Living lives that were almost identical to reality. Whoa. But everything has a price. And sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu. Hanu, what? The leader of Dreamville. The great peacemaker. Uh, and the uh, faithful companion. Uh, huh? Huh? Was unable to alleviate this, uh, one of the prisoners. Oh, okay. Huh? Wow. Wait, Hanu's real? I thought Hanu... But everything has a price. A sweet huh? dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of So Hanu became real. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles. And Hanu freedom. broke free from the IPC? Holy shit, we already knew he was cool, but now you're telling me He is Hanu. Hanu is really the cool. The great peacemaker and the faithful companion of the underdog. He's a companion revolutionist. I like it. I like it. So the character Hanu is based on a real life person? History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, Oh, who's you understand Clocky, why we're here. I wonder who Clocky is. There are a drop so of the heart members stuff. of the Bloodhound family Ooh. around here. Is this a new map? They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Oh. Who knows what it's Sunday's for. locking shit down? Uh-oh. That can't be good. Friend! Have you not- Wait, is this- Is this Aventurine cosplay? He's got the Aventurine colors. I am a representative sent by the IPC. Wait, is this- is this Aventurine? Wait, huh? Is this an Aventurine cosplay? He looks- he's got the color, and he says FRIEND! No boob window? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess you're right. It kinda- it's kinda giving Aventurine- <laughs> Aventurine with the Wish cosplay. <laughs> she's laughing the hell- oh my god, she's having so much fun laughing at him. Any chests? <laughs> NPCs don't get boob window privileges. Alright. Where am I? Okay. Mm. Lucky is in action! Uh... What? Can I move it? Can I not move it? Hang on. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. Three star adventuring. Ugh, give me a five star. Always sync with time. Uh oh. <laughs> so many of them. I've never seen anything like this. 
Even when they're tracking Ooh. down suspects. Ooh. Can you convince them to let us in? We don't need to go in. We oh. don't want to draw any oh, I wanted to go in, attention though. inside. Why can't they go we in? We just talk here. <laughs> okay. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. Why did we come here, then? I thought it was to go inside. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here. Including mm. Rocky. If you see the curvature of his ass, if I'm just saying. all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. Clocky's in the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? Huh? He was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside Wait. a motley crew of masked uh. heroes, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. Okay. But if you do the math, I like how they reveal the, the watchmaker, watchmaker as Mikhail, but we don't really know who Mikhail century? is yet either. I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. Oh. How old are you? How old? Yeah, how old are you? Middle age. She said middle age. Ha <laughs> I believe you. No, Hanu I believe you, dude. The frontier I believe you. He said that with such a deadpan voice. I believe you. Say no more. The world, and he Clearly, he's not middle-aged. Clearly. Clearly. The future of Osdana was uncertain. It wasn't until the watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the Someone in chat says Destiny, 13 on each boob. That Penacone finally gained its name. And yeah, glory. he's a minor. He's a minor miner. He's a Bellabog miner. He saluted him with limited resources. Blah, 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 blah. It was until the watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into a planet festivities. Okay. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacony. But didn't you say the watchmaker betrayed the family? Gallagher yearns and for the you wine. You said you were his companion, so that means you. That means you... No. I'm not his companion. Oh. But rather I mean, if he is 13, I'm just saying, if he is 13... But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family. But to... Oh. Mikhail. Oh. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst And that's why you're a four-star! You betrayed the watchmaker man! Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacony. But the Oak family. Oh, shoot. Set us up. Oh, shoot. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony. Even though the true traitors were someone oh. else. There's a lot of betrayal in Penacony. What is Shalji cooking? While well, they continue to praise the watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, oh. they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Oh. 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 Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore harmony to Penacony. We. Oui. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. Huh. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners. This is what I mean, single mom who... Works two Mikhail, jobs. She lost I her kids in and she in had to stop. No one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacony I once knew would never return. Oh, we're truly sorry for what happened. But oh. this is not the end of the story. 
right? And find the end of the story hmm. in your own Apparently, way. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family. The family, all this time. the Watchmaker, the Stellarons. Hmm, who could that person be? Is this Watchmaker an organization? Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea oh. who that person is. So we don't know who the real. Watchmaker is. Okay, so we know the Watchmaker was Mikhail, but we don't know who this current Watchmaker is. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I uh, believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And that the, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really uh, is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. <laughs> when my haters can form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. Let's just say there won't be many. Oh. Oh. I've told you oh. all I know is a sign of gratitude. Okay. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Oh. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. What happened? Uh, can we go look? Now, can if we you'll go excuse look? me. I'm just a little Good nosy. <laughs> a little quirky How nosy. Ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Huh. Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery. His stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. And that the family isn't all united. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Who could it be? It can't Probably be Sunday. Because he's so loyal to the family. It can't be Robin because she's dead. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. And that Clocky is based on the Watchmaker. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Speaking of who which, else is in the Oak family? Clocky, Robin Sunday and who else? Is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. That pretty much sums it up. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Hmm. Ask about Welt's situation. Is Wilt still talking to Akron? Not too bad. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. We're headed to the Dewlight Pavilion. We're now headed to the Dewlight Pavilion. Akron, huh? Didn't Aventurine say she was dangerous? I've confirmed that she's on our side. Don't worry. Please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I'll find anything. Yeah. Oh. Switching perspective? Holy crap. Oh. oh, music change? Are your companions worried about you? Oh, we're still together. They're just checking up on me. We're Let's get together. in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. Ooh. It's been a smooth ride. Almost Ooh. too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Cool. She w Ooh, we're playing as Acheron now. I mean, I already have an Acheron, but you know. Um, I guess if we're playing as Acheron, I'll switch my party around a little bit. Nah. Nah. I only use my own character. <sighs> nah. Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. Mm, I, I mean, like, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, 
Wait, can I use two of them? Oh. Darn. Never mind. I think the story Acheron might be better than my Acheron. She's not very built yet. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not. I'm not replacing Zila. I'm not. That's my daughter. That's my child. I will always use her. No showing off, Zila. Listen to my orders. Listen to my orders. We'll, we'll do this. We'll keep it like this. It's not ideal, but I don't care. Oh, there's a bird here. A boom. Hello? Hello? Uh, can you come out? Yank! Uh, what a lovely song! Spin up that disc and the sweet music will play out of the speaker's chirp! So, if I play some with you, then the record player will play with you track too? Yeah! See you, I'm off to see you later, celebrating! Bye! Okay. We ain't, we, we ain't benching. We ain't benching. Y'all delusional. I would never bench her. I would never bench. I would never bench. I would never bench. <laughs> I would never bench. I would never bench. Her sword. Does she even take it out of the sheath? I don't think she does. Ooh, this Something is where we were doing off. the Lego set Why earlier. A mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Is this before or after the Acheron? Akron draws her blade slightly. With a moment, her breath became imperceptible. White. I've made myself less noticeable. The Whoa. crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. Oh. I see. This is after adventuring? Mm, okay. Interesting technique. She does have Zila skill. That's unfortunate. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wait. We knew about this. We knew about this. Okay, cool. Oh, thank you for giving me pots. Stream four. Disgusting. Disgusting. The model in the sand pit. Oh, look, it's the Lego the set again. Mirror, isn't it? Maybe the heads of the family used that model for the footprints here are different from the rest. There are two sets of them. Stream four. Looks like outsiders might have Disgusting! Passed here long ago. Disgusting! Disgusting! She's broken! She's broken! She's broken! It's not fair! I just think that they cooked too hard for this design! They left me with nothing! Nothing! Investigate? Nope. She left me with nothing. Memetic? Memetic! Meme tick! Oh. That's a fight. This is where, it, combat ends. This is where it ends. This is double speed. This is double speed. On the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. I weep for the departed. <laughs> You're so cool and stuff. It too shall fall. Man, even her lines are cool. It's so unfair. A quick divination. You don't even need a shield. Just kill it. Or not. Maybe. Mayhap. Mayhap. Sea of butterflies. Disappear the among the sea of butterflies. Look, it dropped something. I was really hoping someone in, new in chat would be like, Oh, wait, she sounds like the voice actor. A uh, note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Uh, seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. Before Robin's death? It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. <laughs> My favorite Trying line when I'm streaming, and I don't write Zila English VA, and the title is, Wait, is that the voice actor? But no matter That's what the funniest thing ever. Are, there should always be someone left Sometimes when people ask it, I'm right? just like, Wait, really? Or are you saying that to be funny? Or is like, huh? Or are you, are you, are you for real, for real? Afar, afar? So you're saying... Someone deliberately cleared the place out. Yeah, but I don't know why. Oh, they don't know Aventurine was here yet? <laughs> My Zilla impression's real good, I know, I know. I get tagged, um, I don't use TikTok very often, if at all. I, I was trying to upload shorts up there for a while, but the, the format of TikTok is just, it's not for me, because I know I get, I, I'm gonna get addicted and then lose all the time I have, and that's bad. Is that a trash can? 
Young members of the family these days don't seem to know a thing about manners. Hey, that trainee server over there, what's the appropriate thing to do when you're giving directions to a guest? Point directly in the direction of the destination with my hand. I'll keep my fingers together. Keep my finger... Wait, all of them together? And point in the right direction with the tip of my palm. I'm not a server. I, I would bring the guest to the destination. That's rude! Oh. The correct way is to bring your four fingers together with your palm facing outwards. Oh, wow. Um... Ah! What the fuck?! Holy shit, he fucked me up! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh, hey, hey. All things in this Wait, why? Oh my god! Creations. Holy crap! Again. This combat needs optimizing. That was rude as hell. Free will, or was it fate? Free will, or was it fate? More enemies. Huh, more enemies. Time for a buzz. <laughs> we came together. I weep for the departed. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Wait, that didn't do any damage to him. What the fuck? Converge and awaken. Don't mess with me. <laughs> That didn't do any damage to him. Whoa. Destined for oblivion. Oh wait, he did. Never mind. Na, 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 na. Back to my daughter. Oh, there was something back here. Gaslighters. Wait, is that a thing? Why is it so it stands out so much? Uh which way am I going? That way? Let's go. Go deeper into the Julie Pavilion. No one here either. Is this at the Lego? No room? one's around to entertain us. Let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. My white. Ooh. Books. Oh, that's low. That's so long. Dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Dewlight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrain from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Panacone, I have experienced a particular change in my voice. A peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations, using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Pentacony is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings, or if a senior member of the family, is, the capital F family, is involved. Unfortunately, a further investigation has led me to the latter conclusion. Okay, so someone in the family is, is doing a thing. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the, within the family of, in Penacony, and it is highly likely that the person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. Ooh, promise? With the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress, or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own family's safety. You are the only true family member I have left. This is a reoccurring thing where X person is the only family they have left. There is another matter that requires our attention. During my investigation, I learned about the Memory Zone meme death. And my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit is who directly... Who the culprit who directed it to cause the series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I have collected more clues and am prepared to verify my hypothesis. She's a scientist, ladies. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparations for the Charmony Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Yeah, for real. Get Go touch some grass, you weirdo. 
Spend some time in reality where you are free, when you are free. I've brought some s more specialties from other galaxy. Giant moa pudding tarts from Mor Mor Morlins. Wild strawberries from Akanyako, known for their exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you'll enjoy. And almond meringue cream cracknels from Medicia. Don't forget to enjoy them. May Shipe be with us. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday... <laughs> oh, you have family! That's so nice! <laughs> remember hearing something unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. Interesting. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Hmm. Meaning. Meaning. There really is a traitor within the family. That person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Hmm. Sunday's too busy with his Lego set. Oh god, are these, are these all letters? Good lord. Oh, good lord. It's so long. Oh my god. I was just complimenting them on finally giving us more voice acting. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. And Sorol, a male Halovian, is that the bird people? Was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach in the moment of oasis. Sub subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. This was the first case. Can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation? Huh. Uh, uh. Sorry. Mori, a male from Shandrol, entered a spheroid in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spheroid was bouncing in the air. Later examinations showed no sign of force. Oh, so these are just a list of people who died. It seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation methods feasible? So after each death, whoever is writing this has a note on why it's happening. Amaka, a human female, participated in a talent show in the moment of Scorch Sand, but accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared into the sea of butterflies below? The footage for that episode of the show has been deleted. The culprit is swift and skilled at disguises. Caution is advised. Weber, a male Papeshi, fell down when entering his office on payday in Gilded Hour and was killed by an unknown meme that suddenly appeared. The memories of witnesses have been processed. Preferring to attack wounded or vulnerable individuals, uncertain, maybe taking orders from someone else. Huh. Chemit, a male Papeshi, was taken away while flipping over a card at a casino in the moment of stars. The casino staff dealt with the aftermath of the incident. Flipping a card. Flipping a Wait! Flipping a card? No, I don't... I can't think of... Hmm... Dekem, a male human, jumped into an ocean of dream bubbles in Blue Hour in an attempt to impress his girlfriend, but got entangled by an unknown meme under the sea and drowned. His girlfriend's memory have been processed, but the outcomes are not satisfactory. Further intervention from motivators may be necessary. So, most cases are related to the ocean. Could this be a breakthrough? Scratch that, actually. After checking, only two cases were related to the ocean. All right, we tried. Huh. Taisha, a female Foxian, was engulfed by an unknown meme while playing dreamy, dreamy slots in Golden Hour. The incident caused a huge commotion at the spot. The memories of the, the memories of most witnesses have been processed. Could it be the sweet dreams trope? Does it have the ability to imitate and learn? Multiple culprits? There is likely a mastermind behind the scenes. Kambega, a male bloodhound, was attacked by an unknown meme before his shift change in the moment of serenity, resulting in his death after a fight. Security measures have been enhanced in the prison area. No notable details in this case need to ask the bloodhound family to straighten defenses. Huh. They're really good at hiding people's death, though. That's very interesting. Janet, a human female, disappeared among the sea of butterflies while visiting the film history gallery at the museum in the moment of soul. She was drawn towards a mysterious sound calling to her and walked into a screen, vanished without a trace. The site has been cordoned off. This is the only case where the culprit demonstrated speech ability. 
Further verification is required to determine this is a false claim. <laughs> Monk, a male in Teletron, was attacked while replacing his newly purchased high-grade vision sensor in the auction at the moment of dusk. I don't think... I think none of these have any correlation with each other. Annette, a female Papeshi, vanished while touching up her makeup in the bathroom before the graduation ceremony at Paperfold Academy in the moment of soul. She was caught by a meme into a mirror and disappeared, witnessed by the teacher at the scene. Current hypothesis is related to sight. Chloe, a female Intellitron, was attacked by a meme and disappeared when she blew out the candles during her birthday celebration with her friends in the blue hour. All witnesses are currently receiving treatment from motivators. More attacks occurred in dark or dim environments? Is sight really a trigger? Hey, is it the thing that killed Firefly? No way. Right? Carissa, a female Halovian, was harassed by a fervent fan backstage before her performance in the moment of Scorch Sand was subsequently abducted by a meme during her escape. The Bloodhound family has apprehended the fan. Abducted? Keep a lookout for this fervent fan. Dorian, a male human, took a nap before the end of his shift in the moment of daybreak without telling his managers and was abduct abducted by an unknown meme hiding under a chair. I... This is getting kind of confusing. Emergency intervention was provided and production at the factory has resumed as usual. Taking a nap? Plus, consider discussing with the Alfalfa family about increased vacation time and additional breaks for workers. Well, that's a nice little side thing that they've recommended. Marlo, a male human, disappeared among the sea of butterflies after being involved in a car accident in Golden Hour. Witnesses reported the presence of an eerie meme who fled underground at the scene of the accident. This is a genuine case of death. The meme must be connected to concepts such as death and murder. How many disappeared among the sea of butterflies were there? The list comprises over a hundred cases related to the memory zone meme death. However, the author of the list seems to struggle with figuring out the pattern. No, I, I think I think so too. I don't really see a pattern the information so information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities. I don't see any commonalities either. Looks like the rumors were right. Yeah, I think the murderer is Zila. Yeah, yeah me too. You're right. She fits the description. Victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. <laughs> he's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Huh, interesting. Is this one long too? This light cone <gasps> is securely guarded. That's, that is adorable. According to Robin's interview, see, see, gamers, we can fix him. He was he was pure and innocent stages, once. Her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. Oh, that's so cute! Look at his eyes! Look at his eyes! He's so happy. The plushed animals are are the audience members. This is so cute. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also is this, losses. Is this prefacing something? Please yeah. don't. Time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Oh. I don't need to fix him. He's he's be he's beyond what my therapeutic powers contain. <laughs> Oh, good lord. From the Alfalfa family. To Sunday, I have been informed about Robin and I would like to express my deepest condolences. However, I must remind you that you now hold the position of not only her elder brother, but also the head of the Oak family. Your every action has implications for all of Penacony. As Penacony is going through a critical period, it is crucial that you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgment and be cautious not to engage in activities that others can use against you as leverage. I heard that you are planning to dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find death. Such action does not serve the best interests of the family as a whole, and I strongly advise you to reconsider it to avoid potential impeachments from other family heads. Is he the traitor? Well, you are convinced that death is connected to the Watchmaker. I have met the Watchmaker many times long before the Dream Master adopted you and your sister, and I have never found any evidence linking him to the Memory Zone meme. Now that you are the head of the Oak family, it is essential that you assess the situation objectively and consider the bigger picture. It is unwise to allocate all of Penacone's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta, as this would bring great dishonor to the Great One? What is this? Great One? What? Excuse me? 
The Charmony Festival is on the horizon, and the watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. Neither you nor I could face the severe consequences of Dominicus' arrival is delayed. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family, focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from external sources. In addition, we must not neglect the honored guests invited by the Watchmaker, as mishandling this matter could lead to diplomatic conflicts with other major factions involving us in disputes that could have been avoided. As your elder, I hope you comprehend the gravity of the situation and handle it appropriately. As for the matter of Robin, there could have been time there would be time to pursue it once the festival concludes. By then, I will provide you with the necessary resources and manpower in the name of the Alfalfa family to help you get your revenge. Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. I advise you to conduct yourself with caution. Hmm. Old OT. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old OT is that why he busted out his, his Lego set? They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict. I mean, this is breaking down some backstory for Sunday, too. Agenda. Big fan of that. Guys, he's just been through a lot. <laughs> Esteemed head of the Oak family. The investigation into all suspects involved in the death case have been concluded. The findings are summarized below for your review. Esme Draught. Ryan, a general staff from the Oak family, a short gray hair leading a laid back lifestyle, often caught slacking off at work. Is that the guy that we make fun of? Percy, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, dark curly hair, suffering from severe OCD, unable to work until his tie is tied Tie is tied and checked five times. Reshi, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, long gray hair, a devoted fan of Clocky, exhibits a preference for the clock element in almost all aspects of life. Huh? Connor, a professor at Paperfold Academy, short red hair, rumored by students to be an enigmatic figure due to his unkempt appearance. Doriani, a professor at Paperfold Academy, short gray hair, known among students for bringing cigarettes to class instead of textbooks. Huh. Peruuru, very lolifel coded name. A researcher from the Nightingale family, long blonde hair, known for being obsessed with soda and having the research lab's trash can filled with empty drink cans. Benny, a dreamscape producer from the Night Night Nightingale family, curly brown hair, frail and thin, exhibiting an almost fanatical affection for dream cons dream construction. Why does everyone have I'm not seeing any correlation. Maureen, a dream weaver from the Nightingale family, short gray hair, standard stature for Pepeshi adults, possesses a collector's fetish, particularly fond of mugs and jugs. Sir Whitaker, the head of the Nightingale family, short black hair, distinguished by his rare orange pupils. Pratt, Pat, a renowned actor from the Iris family, a short gray hair, featured in numerous classic films and TV shows, known for his distinctive thigh band. Borage? Borage the Porridge? An actor from the Iris family, short black hair, frequently cast in gangster-themed films, widely acclaimed for his performance in close-quarter combat scenes. I don't know any of these people. Nadir, a drinksmith from the Iris family, short blonde hair, enjoying good reputation among tourists for his engaging conversations. Huh. Huh. Carrie, an actress from the Iris family, long pale hair, cross-dressing... Okay. Ray Beauty. Um, Brendan, a guard from the Bloodhound family. Short, brown hair. Awarded a medallion for rescuing 10 stranded tourists. Alright, I'm gonna skip through some of these. these are oh, Wolseley! Wolseley's here! They suspect Wolseley? The captain of Bloodhound Guardians. Short, blonde hair. A stocky man bearing several scars from previous encounters with memes. I'm gonna see if there's any other name I... There are a total of 52 suspects on the list, followed by Sunday's note. Perhaps there's a common thread among them. I have reached a conclusion. What is the- I don't- what is the- what is the conclusion? I don't know what the conclusion is. I was just saying how I don't see a conclusion. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. 
This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Oh. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? What is it? What is it? No, nothing. No, 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 tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Maybe I'm just overthinking. No, things. tell me! How Perhaps that's Ooh. why Sunday I is taking it. this man. No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if Trace. this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Uh -huh. This matter so seriously. Oh, That's all for okay. Now. Nothing more noteworthy. I'm still not sure here, what is I going have on. All sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect. Where do they go? Mansion. Where do they Watch go? Out. Someone's approaching. Oh. I don't think trespassing <gasps> on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... He showed up out of nowhere! Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Uh-oh. Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. Oh. I hope you um, can forgive us. He's here. I'm so scared of him, but he's so hot! But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Yes. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I, I, I was wrong. Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. Oh. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and <gasps> gather more information. We don't want any loose Oh no, Sunday's about to punish us. Oh no. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Oh, rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. She, he's gonna know if you're whispering that loudly! While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. Are I you? I assure you that the traitor Sweetie, will are soon you? pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. Let's hope I justice have a will for you, prevail if you don't mind. soon. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Yeah, he is very colon three. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion... The true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. Oh. Did you know? However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. Oh. While oh. the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the Whoa! Righteous. Okay. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. Well, you also just sentenced him to death, While but you know, whatever. He's dedicated to keeping our guests safe. It might be wise for you to stay alert. That's a threat. You never know. Oh, that's a threat. What unexpected trouble. That is a threat. My life is in danger! Woo! Love that for me! You're so cool, Sunday! So cool! Punish me! Oh no! Yay! <laughs> Colon three! Twirls finger nervously and hair and poke finger! Yeah! Hoo -hoo. Oh, -hoo. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit scary. I don't know how to tell you guys this. Back to Aventurine. According to oh, a gosh. Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. Huh? The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. Oh. Wait. Linked to many departments within the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild. 
Archer, okay, okay. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 uh -oh. and is one of the survivors of the second Kataka Avgin extinction event who does not carry an interstellar refugee Whoa. travel permit. Oh. What did he do? What did, what did he do? As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Wait, if I'm not planning to finish this, this is a good place to stop? Like, after this cutscene or before we start this cutscene? Whoa! What a woman. That is a woman with a capital W. Maybe taxes aren't so bad after all. <laughs> what pretty eyes. Tell me. Do they shine in the dark? Oh. Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you so quick to do these things eventually? You make me worried. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever as a servant you should not resist your master yet oh he, he killed that man anyway. he killed the aventurine before him the slave master no lawyer has the audacity to defend you perhaps you ought Damn, to represent she is yourself gorgeous not difficult but definitely pointless. Hi, Shinpai! Hello! You are, you are further in the story than I am. <laughs> You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was Oosh. just a small way. Ain't no way someone in chat is saying it should have been me, not him. This man is going through so much. <laughs> if your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. He is very confident. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end. Including the perpetrator himself. Oh, oh madam, I already have what I. Madam. <laughs> to be brought before you for the next high stakes gamble. Oh, oh, please tell me she doesn't. She, she survives this, right? She she survives this. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? I can't get over the fish. I'm thinking of. <laughs> Do you wait, 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 Shinpai, I need to I need to show you more I need to show you more of the fish. Hang on, hang on. You haven't seen anything yet. You haven't seen anything yet. Wait, 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 wait. Are you ready? Are you ready? I have feet. I have feet. I have feet. Hang on, let me zoom in. I have feet. Do you see my feet? For free. I am giving you content for free. If that is not generous, what is? And then and then you know you know if you're if if feet aren't aren't your uh, enjoying points of life I I also I can also offer you um oh 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 I I showed you my feet oh oh my god I'm so embarrassed blush pokes fingers oh my gosh oh, I'm so shy uh, um and, and if that's not enough I have heart eyes oh wow Jade oh I I also have heart eyes um I also have um um um. Lipstick? Oh, for more kissing? Mwah, 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 mwah. See, this fish has everything you could possibly need. And then, are you ready? Are you ready for the last toggle? Do you know what my last- Ain't no way people are following me after I kiss Jay with a as a fish. There's no way. There's no way I see people following me after that. For my very final toggle, my last- My last magic trick 
the ultimate sacrifice I make. I am going to show all of you in chat my ultimate assets. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, okay. BAM! Hey, check these out! <laughs> yo, yo. Not bad, right? No, no, don't unfollow. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Look, 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 look. It's, it's, it's. Some people may say that they are um, breasts, but if you really look closely, fish can have mounds of fish flesh in the chest area, and it, it it's not breasts because anatomically, I don't think this exists on fish, right? Do fish have boobs? Uh, do fish have boobs? Scientifically, do they have boobs? The fritties? They're, they're the fritties. Are you Are you not entertained? Hello? Look at them. Look at them. I, I don't take these out very often. You guys should enjoy it while you can. Oh, oh, by the way, Shenpai, I need to show you one more thing. Wait, hang on. Take this toggle off. Are you ready? Are you ready? If you look really, really closely as well, my fish has a tongue model. Wait, hang on. Okay, it keeps going back in. Do you see it now? Hang on. Why? What? Okay, do you see it now? It has a tongue too. <laughs> this fish model has everything. <laughs> it's really. <laughs> oh, and and the best thing is, I didn't pay for this. This is public domain use. It is an online fish model, free to use. I found it on Twitter.com, and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, I want to use it. But I, I love it so much. I'm going to see if I can buy um, if I can buy rights to using it. Oh, Lava yeah, Spob! Only fish. Only fish. <laughs> Subscribe to my OnlyFans for the little price of Clout99. I accept payments in the forms of uh, 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 solving my taxes and uh, giving me pulls. Yeah. <laughs> Only fins. Okay. Oh, oh god. I don't know how to turn my toggles off. Okay, hang on. How do I reset the side? What if I just stream like this for the rest of the night? Am I in the way? Oh my gosh, so sorry. Are you guys trying to look at Jade? Am I in the way? I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh. Doesn't it suck when your VTuber model is just so massive and you just like can't even show pro pro proper gameplay? I'm so sorry, guys. Oh. <laughs> this is a serious moment in the story, and I ruined it. Oh my god, what if I just stream like this? You can only see half a little eye, and then all you see is like... Wait, where's the tongue? <laughs> Fish move! How dare you! I'm moving, I'm moving! How dare you! Okay. Okay, hang on. I got really distracted here. We love the fish. Excellent. Steph redeemed. Steph, are you not a VIP? Huh? That's my mod. Gamers, that's my mod. Yo, Shiko, Steph. I didn't even know you weren't VIP. Okay, there you go. Congratulations on 69420. I feel so seen as an agent of chaos. <laughs> Why? Are you. Are you not entertained? Who, who says that? I don't remember who says that line. You can suckle on Jade's boot. Okay, why did I read that out loud? Oh my god. <laughs> Good lord. Why did I read that out loud? No, um... Yeah, no, no. Uh, you unmod me? Oh! Wait, I unmodded you? Wait, what? Huh? No, no, you're a mod- Wait, no, you're not. Um... Huh? Wait, 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 how did- <laughs> Wait, wait. Wait, huh? <laughs> wait, I'm confused. If I- <laughs> Wait, you can't mod- Oh, VIPs can't be mods? Oh! Oh! Wait, what? I'm confused. Wait, what happened? I said give it to me. Give it- give what to you? Give it to Reeve? Oh! Okay, hang on. Um... Wait, did I miss it earlier? Is that what happened? I'm so confused. Wait, hang on. Let me let me mod my mods back. Uh, um, uh, as you can see, I, I read. There's Reeve. Okay, we did it. We did it. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Steph. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to unmod you. That was an accident. I was looking at Jade, and therefore not chat. I I was performing a bit with my 
Remember when I'm... Oh, I don't know. Did she? <laughs> don't clip it! No! I didn't see the VIP... Did you redeem a VIP badge earlier and I just didn't see it? Uh... Uh... We got real sidetracked, yeah. <laughs> well, Shenpai, I hope you're enjoying Honkai Star Rail. I remember... Um, someone in my Discord said you were playing Honkai Star Rail, and then, like, immediately... Uh, I, I remember seeing your, uh, I tuned in very briefly because I was working that day and I saw you in Bellabog and I feel like that was only three or four days ago. And then I saw your Twitter post today and it was like, hey, I'm caught up on the story. And I was like, huh? I'm not even caught up on the story. I played since day one and I'm not even caught up on the story. So truly the brain rot hits you real good. What are you prepared to wager in my mod? <laughs> Sorry, Steph. I know, I know, I know. 14. Oh, yeah, never mind. You're a full time streamer. Fair, fair, but. Fair, fair, but still, but still. I hope you're enjoying it, though. I, I know for me, the Shindra Lofu, I got real lost in story wise. I think Bellabog for me was like. There was a. Overworld and Underworld, it ended with a really banger boss fight with really cool music. It's It was serviceable. I liked it. And then Shindra Lofu, I got real confused. As a Chinese, as a whole Chinese person, I got real confused. And then uh, Penacone, I love the story so far, but the maps are confusing. Anytime I click M and the maps open up, it is very confusing for me. Wait, Molly, do you have an FC? Oh! Oh my god, do you want to hear the story? Um... So, my free company in Final Fantasy XIV, I'm on uh, Primal Lamia. My username is Mollipop, and um, my guild is called Hector the Erector. <laughs> you, can, you can Google it. it it's, it's Hector the Erector. Um, I really like Fire Emblem, and I really like Hector. So the name is on. Nick! Hi, Nick! Oh, hi, Nick. <laughs> hi, Nick. Nicholas Leung, voice of Imbibiter Lune slash Danhen. Um, if anybody was in chat yesterday, I cried when I was talking about him, when I was talking about meeting him. And then I cried again at IHOP when I was saying goodbye to him when I met him for the first time. <laughs> it was really sad. Yeah, people were like clipping that part and I was like, I don't want to I don't want to be perceived, but I think I don't care anymore. Just let it happen now. But yes, that is Nick. Is Caleb here too? Ain't no way. Why are you guys just saying that? Danhun, he voices Danhun. No, Danfeng is um Young Yea. Did you slap his ass? No, I did not slap his ass. You cursed Allegra's pulls? Oh yeah, you did. You did. I cried when she quoted Hector the Erector like she hasn't told us. To <laughs> I think that. Okay, so Hector the Erector is the government name. The the tag, so this is like a shortened version. That's the guild tag you walk around with visibly. That's just Babby. The, the, our guild tag is Babby, but the full government legal name is Hector the Erector. I hope that nobody in Fire Emblem ever finds out, especially not the voice actor for Hector. I hope he never finds out about this name. But if you look at it, it's on the lodestone. I'm not making shit up. It's... It exists. It was created to be a, 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 a safe haven for Hector enjoyers. How is it legal? I don't know. What else rhymes with Hector? If you're gonna do something punny, what else rhymes with Hector? It's only a rector. I checked. It's it's real, guys. Do you play Lawful? No, I play Catgirl. I go from Catgirl to Bunny Boy pretty frequently. Um, but before that, I think I was always Catgirl, and then I went to Bunny Boy for a little bit because I wanted to wear some of the glamour, and then when, when I went back to, went back to, um, Catgirl. I just like the glamour Catgirl has. I don't know. Vector, Sector, Tractor. Tractor, Tractor, Tractor? No, that's not. Hector the Defector? That doesn't, canonically in a story sense, that doesn't make sense, so I can't do it. Hector the Director? I don't think that sounds good either. Hector the Suppressor? That just makes him sound evil. Hit streamer Molly has an erector for Hector. Should I send tweet chat? No! No! Do you have an FC? Yeah, that is my FC. Hector the erector. <laughs> I'm not the most active on 14 nowadays, but I do intend to go back for Dawn Trail, so I need to resub and... Oh, wait! I need to play for the, 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 the 16 collab, but I will. I will be playing soon, for sure, for sure. Hector the bisector? What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. 
If you think all these rhyme. Yeah, exactly! Do for Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, I know, the, the clap is out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, Shinpai, I, I, Shin, I've seen you do, like, what, what are those raids called? The ultimate raids? Uh-uh, I don't touch that. I don't go there. I am very much, um, I used to raid heavily during Heaven's Ward. Like, to the point where I was raiding 40 hours a week. I was really obsessed with raiding. Um, I did all of, uh, Alexander, Gordius, Midas, and, uh, what is the last tier called? A, A through... A, 8 through 12. I can't remember the names. The one with the giant wings, but I got really obsessed with that raid tier. I, I parsed pretty well. I was FFlog's little little shit. And then um, I I realized I needed something else in my life besides raiding. And then I, 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 I tried to... Well, then I started voice acting, so then I dedicated more time to that. But for a while, 14, all I did was raiding. And uh, I was like, pretty toxic. I came from League of Legends. And, and so I knew that I was not going to have the personality to be able to handle this. But this was years ago. I'm changed. I've I've recovered. I've 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 been therapized. Thera thera therapeuted did thera I've been I've been healed <laughs> by the grace of biblically accurate Sunday. Molly played League of Legends. Molly was in League of Legends Club in college. It was real bad. We don't need to talk about it. Graha. Oh, y'all are Graha? I'm an Emmett Sulk enjoyer, unfortunately. Uh, actually, not unfortunately. I justify my decisions. I don't need to- I don't need- I, I, I enjoy who I enjoy. He's not the prettiest man. I have three body pillows of him, by the way. I have two that are- one is him of his OG form, and then one is him of his Elpis form, and then one is a keychain body pillow. So technically two, but I count it as three. Yeah, I- 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 I, I really enjoy Emmett Sulk. So there's- there's moments in the Pentaconi story where it sounds like Emmett Silk's backstory that I really like, but uh, it's not as... We haven't expanded on it as much yet, so we'll have to see. Who is your main companion in LOL? Oh, Champion? Uh, Lux. I liked Lux a lot back in the day. I haven't played League since Yasuo came out. I had to leave League. I can't do that again. I'm also just not a good RTS player. I never tried Overwatch. I, I can't do those. I can't. Once in a while, I played ARAM, but I can't- I can't do anything more than that. Like, truly, I- I- people who like games, I encourage you to explore other creative avenues that are related to video games, because you would never know what works out. For me, I- I can't draw. I'm not much of an artist, I'm not interested in art, and I'm not much of a game designer either. I just really liked voice acting, and so that ended up being- I started from a fan dub and that ended up being a professional work and now we can make a living off of it which is really really cool and if you are if you, if if video games are your passion you can find something out there for you too this is a new generation now the option of making money off of youtube and twitch is insane it's not obviously not going to work out for everybody but neither is like a regular desk job i work in healthcare right now and i i'm on, i'm pretty close to quitting so that I can do this full time, which would be really cool because I, I would like to be able to schedule sessions whenever I want. How was it to hear yourself in the game for the first time? Oh, I cried. Nick was there, actually! Um, this is another reason why I, Nicholas and I, we, we, we played the beta together and that's when I heard myself for the first time. Straight up was like a really cool magical moment. I, I wish we streamed it, but because I am the first banner character and because I'm an impatient bitch, I had to, I had to, I had to play it first. It was crazy. Yeah, no, 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 what do you mean? Shen, you do so much! I used to watch, even before I started voice acting, I used to watch your Final Fantasy XIV videos. I remember when you were going through, um, Shadowbringers, and... I think I watched your Endwalker stuff, too. But I think your reaction to Emmet Silk was pretty accurate. That was about what I went through as well. Yeah! No, me and my raid group used to watch your stuff together. It was really fun. I didn't really use Twitch very often. Um, I never watched streams, like, just in general, because I just never used Twitch, but YouTube is always a good platform. Old fan VAs? Yeah, I started on YouTube. I did a lot of stuff back in the day. It was really cool. No, it's 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 especially fun for me now as a voice actor. Oh, thank you for to gifting Shinpai. to Shin. Thank this you. This is their first gift sub in the channel. No, it's um as a voice actor, the more you book, um, the more idols and heroes and and fan creators and and peers that you meet in general. It's 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 very it's very cool. Like for me, I think the biggest blessing is meeting the Honkai Star World cast because 
uh, I really like um, Nick and Caleb and Emily and Sam and Howard and all the voice actors to this game that we've gotten to meet. It's been really, really cool. And the fact that we can play stuff together and people want to watch us do it is also really cool. And then, like, other creators. Uh, I, I, there's a lot of Fire Emblem YouTubers that I've met throughout the years that I was a really big fan of growing up. Um, but, yeah, Final Fantasy XIV, too. I'm not as familiar with the creator sphere in fourteen though. I think I only know Shen and uh, MTQ Capture, because I used to watch her guides a lot. But that's, that's about it. Yeah! We got super distracted, but that was a lot of fun. Yay! The game being stuck on Jade. Yeah, I figured! If we're gonna stop at any point to chat, this is the perfect window to do so. Yeah! She found out through Animal Crossing. I do need to play 16 at some point, but um, I really want a PC version so that I can stream it. But I'm very glad, Shen, that even though... You started Star Rail kind of late into the life cycle of- the, I mean, I, I, I can't even say late because it's only been a year, but I'm glad that you started later than the average player and you're still enjoying it because I know spoilers are pretty rampant and they can really um, ruin your enjoyment of a game. Final Fantasy 16 crossover with your boyfriend Clive. He's not my boyfriend, I didn't play his game yet. I don't know him yet, I don't go there. Uh, PC version of Google Play. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I had to heal a lot from previous experiences with another. Oh, um, oh yeah. Uh, uh, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, I didn't know you played it, but, but I, I think I know what you're talking about. I, I know that's, yeah, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> the last a decade plus. I hope it lasts forever because we're having really fun. Uh, really fun time. Did you ever get Scotty in FGO? I did. I did. I spent a lot of money. Your voice sounds familiar. Sounds like my first time playing HSR. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't imagine why my voice is familiar if you play Honkai Star Rail. Honkai has been very welcoming and seems people just being passionate and not pushing. Yay! I'm so glad! I know with fan communities, because I mean, I, I consider myself to be a fan of a lot of things before a, a professional in the industry working behind the scenes. Um, because I, I got into video games and anime first before I started doing voice acting. And I know with these kind of fan communities, the bigger they get, the more intense it gets. Uh, a particular Hoververse game, the, the, that their fan base is quite a lot. And I, I remember when we, when Honkai first became a thing, I had gotten a lot of warnings from their cast, uh, giving me advice on how to handle certain uh, interactions and what to be mindful of, what to be careful of, and that's just as a voice actor. I can't imagine what that's like from the content creator angle. I would be pretty overwhelmed, and that's why I people when they ask me if I'm ever going to stream that game, I straight up just say unless I get cast for it, I I don't think I am going to stream it because that one is a lot to catch up on, and I'm super behind. It got very bad for me, like really, really bad. Oh, ooh, that sucks because. I think the game is fun. I actually really liked playing it. It was just it was just so much to do every day. Voice actors can be thirsty sometimes. We're always thirsty. What are you talking about? Are you talking about like thirsty thirsty or like horny thirsty? I drink water. Has Molly recovered from her league days? I, I've been recovered. Both. Yeah, no. I mean, it just kinda depends. It just kinda depends. If you're enjoying yourself with Hongai Star Rail, though, that's really good. I know it's not an open world exploration, so there's technically more limitations on what you can do, but I, I really like it. I really like the people I've met through it. Like, people pushing me in non-that-game streams and wouldn't expect me some money on every corner. I really did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, gotcha games have that. I hope they're not doing that with Honkai for you, though. Because those are kind of... Yeah. And I think Honkai at this point has so many characters. Luckily, they're giving a good amount of free pulls, too. And I, I truly don't think you need that many characters, either. Um, I don't know if it's the same for the other Hoverse games. But I know for this one, I... I mean, I have every character, but I only use my own character. So I, I haven't learned my lesson whatsoever. I also set my boundaries this time and people are being cool. Yay! 
Hey, that's good. As long as you learn. Yeah. We just want to jump in H. That's fair. That is very fair. I would also like to jump in HSR, honestly. Yeah. We're all, yeah, exactly. We're really glad you're enjoying it. I see you tweet about it. I saw you drawing charms. I sent it over to my friends who voiced the Trailblazers. I was really excited when I saw that one. Um, whenever, if you ever sell them, please let us know. We would love to, uh, to put a pre-order in for our, uh, I don't know how, how the shipping works where you are, but we would love to have a, have some charms. Which is another thing I wanted to mention is when Nicholas, the voice of Duncan, and Caleb, the voice of the male trailblazer, when they went to Anime Expo last year, they bought me so many Zila keychains. I have a Twitter post of it somewhere, but I just, I have so much Zila merch from my friends, and it's really, really cute. And um, Sam had bought me something too. And so now every time I go to a con, I always look for Topaz things to give to Sam. And it's like a, it's like a cute little, um, oh, and then when Natalie, the voice of Serval went to a con, she brought me back Zila stuff too. And so now I bring her stuff back. I always try to get Alejandro something too, the voice of Jing Yuan. It's just, um, everybody really likes this game and we all really like our characters. And I can't do online sword, but messy, messy. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Absolutely. But yeah, no, we just, this cast is just really fun. Can I do as many as you pop? Well, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm excited when, when, when you get to Zila. I'm very excited. Yay. She got me to sell some for the, yay. No, I hope this game gets more merch. I, I would like to get more, um, more merch in terms of, uh, you know how the other Hoyo games get like purses and jackets and all that stuff? I was like, ooh, I would like to have more. Have you met Fire? I have. Annalisa. For sure. Um, we, me and Nick met, well, me, Nick, and Caleb met them at the Honkai Star Rail anniversary event. Bronya and Zila are next. Oh, yay! Hooray! Amazing, amazing. Uh, there was only Genshin merch at local. Oh, at the Honkai Star Rail anniversary event, there was the Zila figure. That's officially released now. It's super cute. The details are really nice. I I signed a couple of those for the content creators, and when they post it on Twitter, it's always a good feeling, because like when, pe when you voice a character and you put so much into that character and other people enjoy that character, it's like just good feels all around. All warm fuzzies, you know? Oh, you guys didn't know there was a figure? I have the pom-pom blanket too. I actually bought it first. I bought it first and then I told Caleb to get one, but he didn't get one. And then I told Camden to go get one and then Annalisa got one too. Yeah. I was only made a recent Amazon account for NA and the game that Alejandro voices. I love how we're trying to avoid to say the name and that's why you guys are like, oh yeah, the game that Alejandro voices in. That's really funny. No, you're totally good. We were trying to find a spot to end, so I'll probably just finish this cutscene and call it a day anyway, so don't even worry. Mina! Hello! Oh my god, is everybody popping into stream at the same time? Hi, Mina! Mina, did you stream today? I thought you were gonna stream today. Mina is another person I met uh, at the Honkai Star Rail anniversary. She's our- she's- she's the only VTuber of my heart. She's the only one that I- I've met in person now. Again, I- I don't consider Alejandro a VTuber because I- I met him in the flesh first. But hi, Mina. This is Mina. This is the Mina you keep hearing about. Although I feel like most people hear about me through Mina, but if- if by chance it's vice versa, Mina is fantastic. Yes, Shen, you are always welcome to this chat. Big fan of your stuff. Absolutely. Sayu's still crying. I promise you he does not care. He does not care. Every time he messages me, it's to use my DMs to message Mina about not pulling for Jingyuan. I found Mina through you. Oh, cool! Incredible. No, I feel like ever since I met Mina, I have learned to enjoy certain women, women designs more than, more than I usually do. Didn't you mean Ruby? I thought you met Ruby. I didn't. Oh, right! I forgot about Ruby. I did also meet Ruby. Yes, yes, yes. You need to pop out. Bye, Shenpai. Thank you for dropping by. Very cool. Very cool. Oh yeah. Hi, Mina. Um. Yeah, we saw Jade. Uh, you're. Your e can can someone time Mina out? Get, get out of here! I can't believe she. You cannot e six another one. I thought you were gonna e six Robin. Why are you e sixing Jade too? What you don't even know if she's playable. What if she dies? Eventually killed the last person he made a bet with. I can't believe this. Nuh uh uh uh. You, Mina, you you've got to be kidding me. Mina, 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 your wallet. Mina, you just c six Acheron. Oh my god. You- if you e6 her and you don't get one copy of Jin Yuan, Alejandro is going to whip your ass. 
He's gonna be so upset. He'll never let you live it down. He's gonna be stalking every single train you're on. Oh my god. No, no, don't time her out. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. <laughs> I was kidding. She does sponsored streams just to spend more money on Hoeverse. That's so funny. I can't believe you. Okay, I'm gonna finish the story. My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hmm. What do you want then? I have no idea who this voice actor is. I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> It can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. 30 tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. Huh. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. He dug himself Perhaps out. Even more we respect that. You. I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. <laughs> You're wrong. 30 Tonbus. I'll give you that. I don't and think it's Faye. Much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. It could be? I don't know. Even what you I don't want to guess, because I don't want to accidentally guess right, but I don't know. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name. But unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. Oh, it's definitely not Azula's you voice actor. She doesn't do non-union. You deserve to live. To create even more wealth for us. Why is she whispering like that? Go. Pick the clothes you like. Then choose your desired identity. And then? <laughs> Use them well, child. Child. May your plans never suffer failure. Ooh. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. <sighs> if luck I has always lost. been on his side, it's it makes sense that he's always a uh, put all your bets on the table kind of person. Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? <laughs> well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. Uh oh. But what if it's what not? Then? What if it's not though? What if it's not? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Uh. Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes or Will I encounter failure? Oh. Never to return. I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas. Huh? Is he talking to himself? Lowly gambler. <laughs> what? Uh. What? The rainbow gaslight what? waves are back. What? What the heck? What the heck? This- this expression does not make anything better. This makes the entire scene a lot creepier than it already is. Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? Perhaps both. Uh... I've forgotten me already. Huh? When you were strapped to that electric chair... By a mannequin warlord. Mannequin Who warlord. was it that gave you the Who idea? the heck? Fine. I may be crazy, but 
but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the harmony. Newborn of the harmony? <laughs> the harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. Not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. <laughs> You're dying! Drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with <sighs> a up door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? What the heck? <laughs> why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. Um, I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, <laughs> splendid. What exactly are you? Oh, well, that's a great question. Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. I, that clarifies nothing for me. I'm Kasha, very scared. I am your oh. Future. Kabasha, the future. First, I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Okay, so stop here? Is this where we're stopping? Why are there no guests here? What's that Featherhead doing? Featherhead? Stop here? Okay. We're four hours in, so I think this would be a good spot to start to- or to, to pause too. Wait, what is happening with this quest? The murmurs near your ears grow louder and more booming. You can see another blank blank. Let's hope you can hold on until the moment you stop- you step onto the stage of the amusement park. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so we'll pause here. Um, and then we will resume tomorrow night. We'll finish the story tomorrow night. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. I don't know what time tomorrow night. I'm going to assume the same time I started today, around 8 p.m. <laughs> CT. Um, so if you guys would like to join me tomorrow, please feel free. We'll finish it off together. Uh, and then otherwise, uh, I'll just see you around in the Discord. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Let me pick someone to raid. But, um, it's always a good feeling to stream and see the same names and new faces, so thank you everybody for, for keeping me company as I play through this quest and help me handle how- how hot and sexy I think Sunday is, but also terrifying. Is Shinpai streaming? He's- oh, they are streaming! Okay, we'll- we'll raid Shinpai. We'll raid Shinpai, absolutely. Um, so, uh, be polite with Shen. Uh, like they mentioned earlier, try not to, uh, pressure them into pulling anything, even if- they really like the character, uh, because th that's what they just mentioned. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll raid Shen. I'm not gonna raid Allegra because she's been going on for a really long time, so I think that, um, she's probably gonna be quitting her stream pretty soon as well. Uh, 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 Sai- Oh, I really wanna raid Alejandra too. How long has he been going for? Oh, we'll- we'll raid Alejandro next time! We'll raid Alejandro next time! I love Alejandro! I love that man, but, um, I would really like to raid Shen this time because, uh, I, I've never raided them before, and also they're really cool. And the, also, they're playing Honkai Star Rail. So next time we'll raid Alejandro. I'm hoping tomorrow um, I can raid or, or I can uh, stream early enough that um, I'll, I'll I'll raid Caleb after I'm done. But I don't know what time he's streaming, so it's all up in the air. But yeah, thanks for joining me, everybody. It was a lot of fun. And I'll see you tomorrow, or I'll see you on Discord, or I'll see you on YouTube. Whatever this video is being uploaded to, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Goodbye! Did the raid go through? There we go. Yay!